This week, David drives the wrong way down the freeway. I get stuck in a car wash and Chloe nearly dies. So, let's drop down, let's drop in, and let's do this. This is Just Another Trucking Podcast. Hello, this is Just Another Trucking Podcast. I am your host, Tom, and I'm joined, as always, Hello, Tom. by my good friend... Uh, Wow. Hi, Tom. Wow, that, that, <laughs> I, I'll level with you. That has completely derailed me. Um, what was I even up to? I don't know. Co-hosts so and all of that. Hello, David. How are Hello. you this week? I'm fine, thank you very much. Is, is this the energy that you're bringing? I don't know. I haven't figured out yet. I'm only, I'm only a couple of sips into my beer, so that, you know that's going to change. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. I can appreciate that. Hello, Chloe. Hello. You all right? Hello. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I uh, are we are we gonna are we bringing the same energy as last week? What, what, what energy, energy did you bring last what week? What energy was that? Oh, Who, Chloe you? was all over it. Chloe was, was all over it last week. Yeah, you were. You were fucking all over it. I liked it. What, you were was like I funny. You were, no, you're funny, but you were taking charge. You were like, nope, wait, this is the topic that oh, we're on. that's right. Every yeah. time she got like, bored, I was she just real. like, yeah, yeah. done with she, that. She, no. was, she was fucking all over it last you don't week. Get, I was you like, don't get to talk about your game because uh, you never invited me. So, yeah, let's move on, please. Uh, genuinely, I was like, yeah, I was, am I? Yeah, my bad. Do, does anyone remember when I used to be the host of this thing? <laughs> you, you still are, potentially. I just, sometimes you talk boring well, shit. I don't even get that. I don't even... Don't even get that. Yeah, that checks out. That checks out. <laughs> Hello, Nessa, producer. We all good? I'm good, yeah. How was the devil are you? Oh, that's it. That, yeah. th- this is the energy that you're bringing this week. Well, I've had a shock. By the week. way. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? <sighs> I am a permanent day driver now. No more nights. <gasps> what? Why? How have you done that? Why? Is that a good well, you... My kids told me that I'm not grumpy anymore because I'm sleeping. And they said, I'm home more. Yeah. And okay. they're spending more time with me and they're liking it. And the rest of my family are seeing me and I get a whole weekend but, off. But do you like Why do you sound so life. angry about this? <laughs> I am it's angry like because I want to like <laughs> I Yeah, I miss nights. But sometimes you've what, got to do what's best for everybody, the, not what you want to do. The quietness of nights or what? The, just the driving at night? The stress-free nature of it, I miss it. Right. Yeah, I've I've got to concentrate in the day. There's like five million cars on the road at the same time as me. You're in Wales. I don't think that's true. Well, I don't just stay like, in Wales. Do you even have five million cars? Do you even have five <laughs> cars in Wales? I would <laughs> do. Well, between me and my boy, we own five. They're not you own running five vehicles. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Can I have one if it's running? <laughs> you can. We, we, we've we've got a shell of a discovery. If you want the shell, you just yeah, need do, engines, right? exhaust, fuel tank, and wheels, and an interior. <laughs> Honestly, it'll still be worse than that, but yeah. <gasps> I could just put a shell around my Kia, and I could pretend to drive something cool. <laughs> yeah, put the Kia oh inside. God. Yeah, I like Kias. What's discovery Kias? Mark ninety four. <laughs> All right. Well, my my Kia is just. Just <coughs> needs a lot of love. Someone reversed into it. The turbo's going, wheel bearings are going, and it's just. Oh, it's, I just. Tom hate has it. clearly <laughs> never driven through Port Talbot or Newport the wrong time of day. Yeah, that's true, Miller. That's true. What, do all the, do all of the five car five cars get stuck on a roundabout because they get confused? Like, I, oh no! I have dash cam footage to prove this. It's been a nightmare all week. <laughs> was it really? <laughs> it has. It has. David has no idea what we're talking no, about. Like, I was going to say, have you, um, she looks as bored as you, you were noticed? last week. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed David's background this week? I mean, what is it? Is that a breakfast beer? getting it's hungry. An, it's an Egg it's McMuffin. It's today's, why is that international, David? today's International Egg McMuffin Day. Is it? Yeah. How is that a thing? I don't how know. is... Uh, genuinely... Okay, I second this question of how is that a thing? I know, uh-huh. it's amazing. You should really have asked that of, first. There's a bunch of other it... boring ones that I didn't care about as well, but uh, I chose, because this is my, I, 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 my big, I'm a more of a biggest fan of uh, the, the, the sausage egg McMuffin. I go crazy for that. I love it so much. Not By the way, da- David does this every week and he puts up international whatever day it is and we've never mentioned it until now there's food there. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, I think it was International uh, Lantern Day. 
Yeah, that was it. Yeah. International Lantern. Yeah. yeah. We just looked at it and went, that doesn't look interesting. <laughs> I, um... You I were talking about... Before you, before you talk, Tom, okay, I just want to remember, but people have a tendency of drifting. I was looking at the analytics on our uh, on our podcast, and people have a tendency of not lasting that long on our show. But I was kind of, at the end of the show, well, the second half, we're going to be doing uh, the, the True to Lie segment. So you're going to be missing out if you stop listening early. Just a heads up, everybody. You know, just, you know. So keep funny listening around. the show but, you're missing out. Off. So, I will say... Analytically, like for for them, some people in the audience might know this, but on YouTube channels, especially, mm-hmm. that that is just how it works. If yeah. if you can keep more than sixty percent of the audience after thirty seconds, oh, I can. especially it for like an crazy. hour and a half or something, it's a it's, long time for someone. It's to so watch. insulting to see that only oh, like fourteen percent of my video I, I, on average gets watched. That, that, that then you definitely know that uh, some of them are only lasting a couple of seconds. I th- I, you know. you've, that's lower than mine. I think my lowest was twenty percent, and yeah. yeah, that was that yeah, was quite devastating videos. to hear. <laughs> but yeah. uh, and no, that, I, that, that would be that, one you put yeah. a lot of effort into as well. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> most, most of our of again effort. most of our yeah. listening is uh, is is what people are driving because we don't actually get to see the analytics properly for the downloads for. Um, for the, for the actual listeners, if you're actual it's, listeners, this is more the, the, we're, we're just talking about YouTube right now. We are <laughs> yeah. trying to get the YouTube going. Um, God, well, so I, I think, but I do believe it is important so to hard. let people know what the future of the sh- episode is going to be. You know what I mean? The, so we will be doing the truth or lie stuff thing. Yeah, but yeah. Like that. Anyway, like Tom, that. you can carry on there. I just want to get that out before I forgot. I have forgotten what I was going to say. It was really, really interesting, though. <laughs> like, really, really. Like, yeah, you, yeah. You came in saying you have a really good, you have a really fun topic. I'm kind of curious what it is. Oh, yeah, that wasn't what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about something else, but that's fine. I do have a, I do have a topic, which Can is games, it? or specifically that's a game it. that I've been playing. I've been playing Far Cry. Right I then. love oh. Far Cry. Um, well, it, it's not about, it's not about that, but like the big, the, the big thing that Far Cry is known for are the bad guys. Uh, my favorite is Far Cry 4, Pagan Min. And it's this bad guy where it turns out they're not completely the bad guy. And even though they are very corrupt, very bad, they also aren't, they're the lesser of the evils in a way. And it got me thinking about the best bad guys in films, TV, games. And what you guys think the best bad guys are? Because they're asking. It would have been nice to give us a little bit of a heads up on this topic. Yeah, I only just thought about this before the podcast, so you know, you'd have had in terms of like story wise, that is amazing, or just literally badass, awesome. Like a bad a guy that, that's kind of a good guy in his own way, you know? Or what are you talking? Not necessarily. About? Just just like right stand out, stand out bad guy, bad guy. Well, the best bad I mean, guy ever in history was probably Thanos. He had a great backstory. Oh yeah, he's pretty hardcore. And yeah. uh, it was it was just just awesome. You were you, you felt his pain. You felt his need to do it. You know, yeah. and it was just. Uh, but anyway, that's just. Uh, I don't know if comes... that, he's like if he's the best bad guy. He is he is a good bad guy, but he's Hans not... Gruber. Oh, so no, I've it? not I've not watched it. I've not watched. Um, Die Hard. Uh, oh no, sorry. Well, no. Who am I thinking of? What's the one from Inglorious Bastards? Not seen it. No idea. Oh fuck! I, I keep watching TikToks of it or YouTube shorts of it, and I can't. He, he looks fucking phenomenal. It's a um, Quentin Tarantino film. You know who What's are that? pretty awesome bad people? There's a group of them. Go on. Hot fuzz. By the way, Hans, Gru- Hans Gruber. By the way, from uh, yeah, you are right. He's fantastic. Hot fuzz. Hot fuzz. The the old people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That, How was, that was pretty awesome. awesome. Is that storyline? Come that on, it is. Awesome. So it is very, very good. I don't know if they're great bad guys. They don't. They are pretty awesome. That was they're... good. I don't know. I... It, 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 I think Simon, like, like for instance, I, you know, Breaking Bad. There are some incredible bad guys in that. Like Tuco is phenomenal, mm-hmm. and then uh, I can't think what, is, what the main guy, what the main villain. Uh, Tuka, Tuka, yeah, well, Salam- Tuko Salamanca, and then and his uncle. What's the H- oh, the, the bell? Hector, ding! H- Hector, Salamanca. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. And what about Hannibal Lecter? Joffrey as well. Baratheon as well from uh, Game of Thrones. You know, I was... we, we have talked about Joffrey. 
I I was talking to um I was talking to my wife yesterday about uh, Game of Thrones. Now I'm a huge fan of Game of Thrones. Me too. And there's something about that. There's so many characters you hate, but sometimes you end up rooting for these characters at the same time. Now (laughs) you haven't watched it, Tom. Chloe, have you watched Game of Thrones? I have. I've watched Game of Thrones. I've not watched the last. No, I've not watched the last like couple of. No, I've not not watched the last couple. But sometimes you kind of like there's there's one particular part in Game of Thrones where you kind of just wish Joffrey was still king. It was when those uh, religious freaks came out and took over the city, and you just knew that Joffrey would take over and did and did, would have destroyed him, and not caring who he would have killed. But again, there's just so many times when the bad guys, you end up rooting for them sometimes because it's usually a bad guy against a bad guy. But there's, uh, I don't know, there's just so many. The character development and the whole thing was just something that's unreal. That has is is just fantastic, and why it is such a great show because you, you get such. Um, character development in it, you know and it's just uh i know that's just a bit of a I... it's not just I me mean, that's I... not watched it people in chat haven't watched it either so... <laughs> which is very weird to me <laughs> I, I, a lot of times i feel like people don't want to watch it because people tell them that you oh you need to watch this show and that yeah, kind of trolls exactly. a lot of people off so why would i <laughs> <laughs> all right okay well I... I was obviously gonna say this one red dead redemption i've never heard of it never seen it i've heard it from the you and game. That's it. yeah City game, probably. Micah and that very good storylines, I thought. Micah is a good. very good bad guy. Micah is yeah. a very good bad guy. Um, yeah. He, yeah, he, he was definitely one of the one of the like the proper standout characters yeah. from that. Yeah, um, I thought it was a brilliant storyline. Red Dead, like for a game, like the in depthness. I think it, I think games about it. <laughs> are, are now are now starting to become. Um, it's. Yeah, I, I, th- I think games uh, that they, they can, they can actually be a lot more than what they used to be. They're, they're not. It's not just as, as simple as like, oh, it's just like shooting at asteroids anymore. There can be a lot of depth. I mean, like you look at some of these indie games and how like phenomenal they are. Um, and so like a, a massive like AAA budget game like Red Dead Redemption, yeah. Absolutely, because the, the, the reality is, Rockstar want you to be able to play that game multiple times. Yeah, you need to have replayability. Yeah, um, different different styles as well, and all sorts. Yes. Oh yeah. What about Linus from Lost? Ooh, oh yes. Yeah. Ben what, Linus. He, no, that was that's a good one. That is a very I, yeah. I actually yes, I one hundred percent agree with you in that one. He is actually my favorite character in that show. He, really he was, is. and he's phenomenal in another another TV Ugh. show, which I uh, person of interest. <laughs> you're tr- you're really phenomenal. trying to push that show on people. <laughs> I love person of interest. Love. I'd love, love, love. I'd love to have already watched the first season so I could be invested in it. It's just hard to get through the first few episodes for me. A person of interest. Yeah, I just I, I'm struggling with it, dude. I'm I'm really um, I'm really um, but like there's a good fight scene inside in the subway at one point, you know. But yeah, in the first episode. So you've watched the first episode, is what you mean? Oh, no, I've watched. A co- I think two or three. Okay. But uh, fucking love yeah. it, love it, love it. No idea what you're uh, about. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh, person is just so what about good. Moriarty from so, so, so Sherlock. Uh, which one though? I don't know. It's it's Moriarty's. I... The I I I, I do believe the well, it was the. I can't remember his name, but uh, Stephen Strange. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Doctor Doctor Strange. Doctor yeah. Strange. <laughs> yeah, the, the <laughs> Doctor Strange version of uh, <laughs> I'm Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> so, oh, um, is Sherlock, Holmes, is Sherlock Holmes part of the MCU now? I, I probably it it might have been bought by Disney. Who knows? It's it's very possible at this More point. More than likely. Yeah. More than likely. Um, I think someone did mention Homelander. Someone uh, did mention that, but I've boys. never watched it. He's just Fuck a straight me. up bad guy, but he does have a backstory to where you can understand why he uh, is bad. Uh, it's, it's understanding why they're bad is the greatest thing about bad guys, and like where you can like see like, oh okay, yeah okay, I can yeah. see him being a bad guy. He's totally his father. It's totally his mom or whatever. You know what I mean? There's like uh, even when you see bullies in the real world, uh, you know they're just. You gotta wonder why they why they are a bully in the first place. Because they probably get bullied to crap at home. They get a bad upbringing. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's like I feel bad for hating people because of sometimes they just didn't really they just don't 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 know any sometimes better. Sometimes they don't deserve the hate. 
I like the ones that suddenly realise they're doing bad and then they go and like, oh, I'm good now. We're best friends. It's fine. They're the best mm-hmm. ones. So the best bad like guys for ending. you are the ones that turn out to be good guys. Well, yeah, because they're like really they're bad. They're not good and then, guys. They and then just yeah, chose they, the wrong path. They just chose the wrong path. They got confused. You know, a lot of bad shit happened. And then they, they speak to someone about it and then they go, holy fuck, I've really fucked up here. And then they like team up and then they're hardcore and it's fine. And then they fix the problem that they've just made. No? Yeah, um, no, you're absolutely you're, yeah, you're right. I'm trying, you're right. trying to think. I do. I'm trying to think of someone who's actually. I'm done trying that. to think some that actually yeah. done that. All I can think of is Austin Powers at the moment. That's the only thing I can think of at the moment. <laughs> Doctor Evil yeah. become good. <laughs> Doctor Evil. Doctor Evil yeah. comes. Yeah, it becomes good at the end. And so does. Well, so did, I suppose so does uh, Dark Vader. Isn't that the, most, the ultimate one? True. Where he realized yes. he he became a good guy at the very end. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that was just for his son, though, wasn't it? At the very end. Um. Or was that overall? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's because he was Anakin, isn't it? Yeah, that's see, that's a clever storyline. Is Anakin? If you like, I'm at the moment we're watching all the Clone Wars and all that with mm-hmm. Logan, and it's quite interesting to see the story as it goes because you learn so much more. There you go. That's another good one. <laughs> what about the Joker in the Dark Knight? Is it the Dark Knight? Oh, Not Arkham Joker. Asylum, in it, or something like that. Oh, yeah. It depends whether you're going with game or movie. Well, to, it, it's, well, I it, think we're going with the always very good, but with the movie, movie. Not, but mm. I will say with the with the games because it's with the games, it's voiced by Luke Skywalker. I can't know what his actual name is. Oh, is it? Like, yeah, yeah. That he he, he 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 like he's played it in a lot of the cartoons and stuff like that, and he's like he's very very well known as the Joker. Oh, I didn't and, know that. Yeah, and he's he's it's he's spectacular at it. Like Mark he's, Hamill, he's, he sounds. Mark yes, Hamill. That's he it. sounds yeah. fucking unhinged, unhinged, and he is very, very good uh, in a in a lot of like the state. He, he's he's been in so so many different things. Can you search that one, Nessa? How much he's actually been in? Cause it's, yeah, it's he fair, was in um, fair bit. he was in Gotham as a bad guy. I think, but I don't, it wasn't the Joker, but he was he was yeah. definitely in Gotham. Go on, Nick. He's seventy-two. Oh. TV show. No, he's seventy-two. Yeah, that's about right. I, I believe it. Um, what about Makes the feel old. <laughs> ice truck killer from Dexter? Oh, that's the first season, isn't it? That's the first season. Yeah, I've actually, uh, uh, I've only got with, up to like one or two, but that's with, that with show is the... what fifteen years old right now. God, isn't it? But it is I don't think we're going to be spoiling this for anybody. But that episode, that season got got ruined for me. I I was I was talking to somebody and I said, oh, I'm watching um, well, I'm watching Dexter right now and. Uh, yeah, I didn't see how far I was. I'm like, wasn't it crazy that he was his brother? What? <laughs> I'm like oh, no. four episodes in. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? What is wrong with you? I'm like, I was so angry because I was, I don't, I was probably more episodes in. I was into where he was, he was part of the show at that point, but you didn't. It was that that would that what a great part. But me finding that out for the, from when yeah. I was supposed to find out, I was so angry. I was like, yeah. Oh. And then See, obviously like Sergeant, that, Sergeant Dokes. Is it Sergeant? Is it his name? Sergeant... That sounds about right. Yeah, I don't. Um, where, with his just that 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 one phrase that night is now repeated on the internet so many times. Surprise, motherfucker! It's oh, fucking... really? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> is that that soundbite is used so so often. That it's is fucking. Lot, oh, it's yeah. so so good. Um, I can't. I can't really think of anymore. You've kind of put us on the edge here, Tom. Because yeah, like, oh, and like all these pauses that we have. Straws have now. Try, yeah, yeah. What a useless. <laughs> as soon as as soon as we're done this recording, <laughs> all right, we're going to like. Oh wait, what about that guy and this guy and that guy? And yeah. Like, oh well. So you, you know what? You this should have been is... next week's topic. All right. Yeah, well, you, Tom, you, what you should do is put in the comments who you think should have been in this segment and who we've forgotten. Since. Yeah, because we have what forgotten a lot. Yeah, yeah. There will be a lot. Because we're here, we are trying to do a show and think at the same time. Let's say, uh, just just two I need to mention very quickly. Obviously, the Borg from Star Trek. I know that's it's, it's oh, yeah. not like and it's a bad guy, but oh, I, I'm going to edit that part out. Go ahead. What's your Fuck next one? Fuck you. And then <laughs> I think if we don't mention Negan, I think every Walking Dead fan is going to fucking come and stomp me, including potentially my missus. Who's um, Negan? He's, oh, from the yeah. Walking Dead. Yeah, he's, he's Walking the ba- Dead. He's the guy that killed. Um... Would I ever have watched the Walking Dead? Come on. It's too scary no, for me as well. I don't even like the title. No. <laughs> Bloody zombies. Um, Mark Hamill. Uh, you know what? We're made... watching... Sorry. Yeah? No, I'm no, no I'm just saying every program <laughs> I watch always has bloody zombies in it. Go on. 
the, then you stop watching zombie stuff. <laughs> So that means I mean, you have seen The Walking Dead. And then, excuse me, there was an episode with this Clone Wars that's for kids. got fucking zombies in it. Right. But if you watched Coronation Street and zombies turned up, at that point there, I would accept what you said. But clearly, <laughs> yeah. Come on, Nessa. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Just... Uh, that's all right. Uh, Mark Hamill has made 149 appearances, including a bunch of stuff that he wasn't credited for. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Damn. Way more than I thought. That's that a is lot a of stuff. lot of stuff. That's a lot more than mm. I thought. I kind of just know from Star Wars and gay. Hey. Mm. It's, yeah. That's, that's a lot more than I, I uh, thought. I, I'm, I'm, I, he, he has been in a surprise, because I, I thought a few years ago, I was, I was thinking, what's he actually been in? You've not, I've not seen him since the, since Star Wars, but I think he's been doing a lot of voice stuff, hasn't he? He does a lot of voice yeah, acting, doing a lot on the side. Like, has Carrie oh, Fisher oh. done anything, anything as well? Like, is she the Leia? By the way, I I, I, I don't mean to break some bad news to you, mate. <laughs> oh shit, she's dead, isn't she? She is she, very she dead, is. mate. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sorry, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. From no, that. it's not bad. <laughs> it is bad news, but you know, it's like, oh shit, <laughs> Spike. Oh, what from, um, from Buffy? From Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Spike. Yeah, but then he oh turns God. really good. If, well, this, this is even better for you. That's your favourite type of character, you dickhead. <laughs> yeah, but he does. But then doesn't Angel turn bad as well at one point? And then they're he like, does, switch yeah. places. I fucking love Angel. Fucking love Angel. A lot of girls loved Angel, loved, uh, Angel as well. That was like, yeah, that so. surprised yeah. me. Oh, wait, the Spike. Sorry, Spike. The blonde dude. The blonde dude, yeah. The beach blonde it was, dude. It, yeah. Was, yeah. it was one or the other, wasn't it? I think Have some you like... seen... That I keep getting advertising on on my YouTube and that. They're doing a Buffy the Vampire Slayer podcast. I think it's been cancelled already. Well, they've just Try. put adverts like everywhere. Yeah, yeah I, I know. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was reading something about this because I, I was quite excited about it. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's been cancelled already. Really? Like, the yeah. We haven't been cancelled. <laughs> no. Refused to go off the air. <laughs> <laughs> we will not leave. <laughs> I can't you cancel a podcast. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm... Cr- you yeah, just don't Tom, show up for this come from? <laughs> yeah, we do. Like... Um, yeah, it has. Uh, it's been cancelled after one season. Sorry, folks. Oh, okay, so there's uh, one but... season of it. So there is one season of it, so you can go listen to the one season on um, Audible, but hashtag not sponsored. But, um... <laughs> Did you know Mark Hamill was in yeah. uh, Stuart Little? Was what? it? Just... Yeah. If we did, that would he have been... He voiced um, Tiger or Tigger. Surprising. Oh, the cat? Yeah. The he's, Siamese cat. Technically, he's a feline, I suppose. <laughs> he's a tiger no. more than anything than a cat. Tigger. That was like the f- and he was in fat- SpongeBob SquarePants. No, yeah, and everyone's... Like, but you look at SpongeBob SquarePants, you look at the credits. Fucking Who does he play everyone, in SpongeBob? Everyone is in, in that. Who does he play in that? Uh, in what, SpongeBob? SpongeBob? He played. I can't find it now. The moth. The the moth. Okay, thank God. That's on we, land. we now know. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say that doesn't sound like very sea worthy, no. does it? He did Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated <laughs> two episodes. <laughs> there is so wow. much he's done. It's unreal. Future Armor. Yeah, he's yeah, doing he's that. Busy, busy, busy guy. Yeah, he was in Future Armor. Wow. Yeah. He's doing that he now. He's been in a lot of stuff though. Oh, this is the uh, the audio version of IMDb. He did the audio <laughs> book that? for World War Z as well. What's IMDb? Yeah. Oh, International Wait, Movie what? Database. It's oh, basically where people go to find out. What, what, it's it's what, it's the app that I have up on my phone ready to go <laughs> when we start watching a new series or, or yeah, film. Yeah, oh, because I'm like, yeah. who's that person? I recognize uh-huh. that person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. And then my missus is like, why? Why? Just watch the film. I'm like, but I need to know who that person yeah, is. I recognize I him from something. Sometimes me and my wife will pick why. up her phone at the exact same time. I'm like, well, I know what you're I doing. You just know you're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. It's all good. It's all but good. You can't, you can't watch a film and not know who they are, though. When you recognize exactly. them, it just bugs you. And then you don't it know what's does. going on in the film. Because then you're going, I know that face. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, I had to call the police on someone this week. Now you bring this up. What? Yeah. So you've just put us through that blooming torture for 20 minutes of a rubbish topic. What do you mean? It was mean a rubbish to topic. Oh, come on. You should have, like, warned us. That that sucked ass. Come on. What? What are you wow. on about? Wow. Fucking just rip into our own podcast halfway through it. It's all good. Don't you worry. You're all good. Um, I mm. 
had to call the police on um, a van driver. Uh, okay. He was, okay. Well, I was, I was sitting up north on the 74, and I was on the phone to someone, and then this lad just veers off, nearly hits the central reservation, oh and then God. snaps back again. I was like, fuck me. So I thought maybe he's been on his phone, he's got distracted, or maybe he fell asleep at will. And I'm watching him, and he's like weaving between the two lanes, like just weaving. And then he nearly hits the central reservation again. Oh, and I was shit. like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to call 999 and report this. This is." And so that's the first I've never done it before. Never called 999 on someone before. That, but that and was, you know what happened from it? Uh, I, I kinda. Um, I'd actually. I was because I was. So I was. I was doing seventy exactly seventy miles an hour, and. Right. I he was doing like sixty, and then he was speeding up, and then he was slowing down and speeding up. Yeah, but yeah. His actual average was about seventy. Right. Uh, it was in fact, but, but it, by the time that he was at the Albingdon service, I think it was, he was only like two two hundred yards ahead of us. And as he was about to pull off on the junction, the police called, and he was like, um, "said so I'm Sergeant." Da, da, da. Um, um, I'm currently at this junction. And I said, "Well, you, you've he's gone past you." In which case, yeah. Uh, so I think when, when by the time he got the report, we must yeah, have yeah. just passed that junction. Yeah. Um, and he was pulling off at the services. I'm guessing that the lad was was falling asleep at the wheel and needed some coffee, or, or maybe he was uh, getting a blowjob, and um, <laughs> you know he was enjoying it too much. Wow. That's maybe. Thank you, David. Could have been just maybe you. just as. <laughs> what? Thank you for that. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I thought he was like distracted, so you know. But with a phone, I I didn't think he was getting a blowjob. I mean, might have been. Who knows? Do you know it was a male? I have no different... idea. Oh, okay, you're, you're, just, you're just presuming. Okay. I'm, I, I mean, I'm just I'm just being sexist and presuming it's a guy. It could have been a girl. Women women can be <laughs> well, bad drivers too. Well, we did too. establish last week that women feminism. are the better drivers. Yeah, hang on a minute. You are, yeah, so you can't blame that on a woman right there. You should have been looking and gone, that's definitely a man driver. Women wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> there you go. That's what I you mean, should I, have been doing. I, I kind of did, so yeah. yeah. Ha- and no, feminism. in the comments, I did not offer I... my services. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> in your leave, eh? <laughs> Straight on the comments there. You're allowed to be on your phone. Like, you're allowed to be on hands free and talk on the phone. Well, it's a grey area. If you have a major crash, then they can look into it and go, "Well, you're on your phone." Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. A fair. Yeah. Fair enough on that one there. It's, it's but, over here, David. It's like a you're allowed to be on it and be on a on a Bluetooth whatever. But if something major happens, oh no, you're in shit. <laughs> yeah, because you're, you're distracted, which is which I guess is fair. No, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Sorry, I was drinking. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. So, of so should, we, should we wait for you, for you to finish there? So, okay, <laughs> I mean, have you guys about to um, about to put a phone the police on someone before? So, technically, I probably should have the other way, week with the cyclists. <laughs> yeah, you probably should I know, have right? done it there, was, there was a bunch of horses that ran onto the freeway one time, and I called I called nine one one because they look kind of shady, and I didn't think you know. Just Wait, like up, not, up not no because there's horses on the carriageway and they're becoming really dangerous. <laughs> no, because they look kind of shady. That was your reason. No other reason. Just like, they might have been getting um, a blowjob. Yeah, possibly. Um, yeah. Yeah. I should have called 911 for one thing. There was this, uh, I was waiting for the dock. It was in downtown LA traffic. Downtown LA. And uh, there was a, I was right next to a homeless camp. And I saw this guy, you know, they're just lighting a fire on the sidewalk, you know, for whatever reason, maybe cooking food. I'm sure he does it every day, whatever, right? And then I just saw it get bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, my, I think, oh, shit, I think this is out of control. Fuck. <laughs> and like, oh, this is really, really big. I still didn't call 911. <laughs> I don't know. I was, <laughs> I was more, I feel like such a douchebag for not doing it. I didn't get my phone or anything. I wasn't recording. I was, I was just watching say, it. If, as long as you didn't have your <laughs> phone you recording? Now, that's yeah. the most <laughs> But how could I call 911 wow. and record it at the same time? Come on. Yeah, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> but it was just, uh, yeah, no, I just, uh, I, eventually I did say the fire brigade did show up and they did put it out. I was, I was hesitant to uh, get my fire extinguisher. I think, is that where it headed? I, I was like, and uh, because I, at one point I could have saved the day and just put it out, you know, because I'm yeah. probably the only person looking at this who has something? one. 
were you high and you just went oh beautiful flames <laughs> this, this can be like your only explanation why would you just stand there and watch a fire i wasn't standing there i was in my cab sitting okay <laughs> don't know if that don't makes know. it any better uh, <laughs> it, like, like, it doesn't Batman. i'm not i'm not a hero in this story okay There's, i'm just <laughs> i'm just maybe uh, David I is just, the villain. In, in hindsight, like the secretly, in hindsight I wish I did He's actually set fire to this. He's sat there going, oh, <laughs> it's coming on nicely. <laughs> I didn't want to get involved. Secret, honestly, God, it was just one of those things like uh, deep down when I do ask myself what happened, I'm like, oh, I don't know. You know, I just, it's, it was out of my norm, you know? And I know I really wish in hindsight, yes, I did get my fire extinguisher and put it out because knowing that like how big of a fire, again, it wasn't a huge, huge, huge fire. Uh, I can't remember exactly what caught on fire, but cardboard boxes or whatever, you know, but the fire brigade did show up and they did put it out and everything was all good, you know. Um, I know, I, I, I regret my, my actions. I regret, well, I, like, no, I just no, didn't it, know it's, what. It's not your actions. It was your inaction that was the I regret issue, my yeah. inaction. Right? <laughs> I felt stupid. I did feel stupid afterwards. I'm like, God damn it, I really should have just gone over there. I don't even remember if I thought about 911. <laughs> it, again, it was so long ago. I just like... Uh, and it's so hard to get involved in stuff that's outside your norm. You know, it's just hard to actually make like for you, Tom, that's fine. You've done that. Yeah, you're used to this. You, you don't shit, even think yeah. you're just like, oh, OK, I know what the right thing to well, do is here and do it. You know, I'd, I had one the other, other week, which was, again, a fire. And I was going past it on the way to work and there was a good fire uh, by the f I, I don't know if it was on the farm or in the farm or what it was, but it was a, it was flames. Like and it was a big fire, and as I was going past it, because it just looked like a bonfire. But then, as I was going into work, I thought, "But it's half three in the morning, and it's not like it's a weekday. This is like half three on a Tuesday morning. Why is there a huge fire there?" It, it just and so I got into the yard, and I just thought, and then there were some lads that were leaving that were coming off night shift, and I said to them. Are you going towards Workington? Could you just go like and just go and look at this and just you tell me like I don't know if you think it's a fire, like a just a bonfire if it's a bonfire if it's not. But I don't actually know what happened with this. Could be could have been either way. Mm -hmm. So you just left fire. it. Yeah. So you could so have found someone. Someone, and someone could got have ahead burned of time. to death and it would have been my fault. I am like <laughs> and David. You'll never know. I, yep. Yep. <laughs> Trouble is though, in those in those situations, sometimes you don't know. Like you shock, or you're just like, oh, that's obviously being dealt with. You don't always know what to do, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, Anita Hardcock, brilliant. <laughs> that's a person in the Patreon chat. We should just mention here very quickly. I had to call nine 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 just before Christmas. Witnessed a car hit another car from behind, and the girl in the rear car ran up to my cab, shouting that her finger had cut off. Oh, what the fuck. <gasps> did she have a scissors oh, wow. in her hand? And... I mean, <laughs> what a happened? car hitting another car from behind, and then the girl in the rear. Where was her finger? <laughs> yeah. So just, just very quickly, if you found it and you returned it to her, did you technically give her the finger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well played. <laughs> Do you know what though? That does make like that's that's also why some people don't get involved because you don't. Like you don't know what to do in that sort of situation. Like if some girl came up with no finger, I'd be like, "I'm not looking for it." <laughs> you can fuck right off. I found out afterwards that she was fine and just in shock, and her finger must have just been numb. <laughs> oh, so... <wow. laughs> that's so funny. Oh, I said wow. a, I, I set a firecracker off in my hand one time by accident, and oh I was afraid. To look at, I was afraid. I I threw it into a bar of water. And I was throwing a bunch of bangers, whatever, into a yeah. and they were just bloom, 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 bloom. And then I threw another one in and I'm like, oh, nothing. Wait, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. All right. Fuck <sighs> it. Okay. Then I, then I grabbed it and all of a sudden, poof, I, w I took me a good 20 seconds to actually get the balls to actually see what my fingers looked like. I was so oh. scared. I really was because it was numb. You don't, you can't tell. Yeah. You're just, you're absolutely numb. And, you know, it was just a tiny, 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 tiny chunk that I've taken out of my thumb. You know, just a tiny chunk. It barely even bled. You know, but uh, yeah, so that's my uh, my firework story. Hope you enjoyed it. Fuck me, that's so but sketchy. That, that is mm -hmm. sketchy, but that is the thing in that when you do have an injury, you don't always want to look because sometimes it can be scary <laughs> as fuck. That's right. I um, 
I climbed over a fence. There was a gate. It was a norm, normally you have the, the the truck would would open the gate because of the weight or the mechanic or the the weight. Of, I don't know, but you had to in order to leave this particular yard, you had to be in a vehicle. Now I was leaving my vehicle there, and I was going to be meeting someone at the main road, and uh, I'm like I'm waiting forever. I'm getting really bored. But there was a there was this area of the fence that uh, you could see that pff, many 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 people climbed over it. You know, it was just it was just, but it was barbed wire. I'm like, yeah, yeah, fuck it. If, if, if these truck drivers can do it, I can fucking do it. So I put my hand, well, I get up there. All right. All right. Start. I put my hand on the pole, but there was like a cap on the pole and the cap came loose while I was holding onto it. And I went sliding down the barbed wire and uh, I'm just my, on my left arm. And um, as soon as I landed on the ground, I landed on my feet too. But as soon as I landed on the ground, my, of course, the person who was picking me up showed up right then. I was like, so I get into the car. Hey, do me a favor. Can you look at my arm to see how bad it is? What do you mean? I just... This, can you just do that, please? And she was like, oh, <laughs> shit. What did you fucking do? Yeah, yeah that, I tried climbing. I climbed over the fence and um, yeah, I fell. Sort of thing. So, yeah. Can you um, yeah, just take me home <laughs> so I can figure out what to do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. did you go to hospital I, in the end? I, what did I do? What did I do? I think I got stitches. Yeah, I think I got a couple of stitches. Uh, but it wasn't that. It was, you know, there was just, it wasn't, it, was, it wasn't bleeding, but you yeah. could see flesh. Yeah, yeah. If that makes yeah. you know what I mean. There was no sometimes you know, no, though, when you know, it's not bleeding, you know it's worse in a way because it's deeper. Yeah, because you could. Yeah. it was it was very deep. I'm like I think I still have the yeah, still have the scars <laughs> on my on, See, on, on my bicep. <laughs> I st- I know I've told you guys this story before where I fell through the window, and um, I honestly I just remember doing it and then looking down at my arm and I was like I didn't feel any pain. I just remember looking down because I knew my arms went through first, and then just seeing white flesh, and oh. I'm just going, oh fuck that's bad <laughs> and then you just don't know what to do in that situation you i, I just remember screaming and going, oh, waking everyone up and um yeah it's just one of those horrible experiences in it when something major happens you just yeah i oh. i i'd, I'd say with a with a chisel when i was a kid and i was playing with the chisel and i cut my finger <laughs> i've still got the, i've still got the the scar now and i i just oh. remember looking at my finger like i was young at the time and i I have a vivid memory of looking inside my finger and being like, oh, that's not good. That's, <laughs> that's not good. That's, that's the that's, worst. Yeah. Was, um... And then having, I, I think I might have panicked and just run around the garden screaming, like <laughs> just at the top of my, I don't, I don't think I had like, I was just incoherently running around like, yeah, unsure what to do. And I think I might have cut my foot open once. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Doing, you think, or you know. I remember cutting my foot, but I can't remember like what happened afterwards because I was really young at the time. I was playing in the beck, and I, um, yeah, I think I stood on glass or something like that. You know, um, you know the on a Hoover, you you got the poles that connect it together to make it longer. You can have a short one, you know. You know what you know what I'm talking about? I, where the fuck is this story going, David? <laughs> this sounds like it could be going either way. Well, why don't thinking... you wait and find out where I stick my penis? Okay. Just wait. Okay. <laughs> no. Wow. But you know the regret, poles. Regret, is, regret, regret saying you that know now. the pole. You, you know how the poles kind of stick together. All right. You kind yeah. of like uh, there's a latch, and then you kind of twist, and then they lock together. So my my sister was trying to hit me with it, and she succeeded and hit me with it, and she dug that that part of that holds the other pole together, and it took, stuck it right into my hand, into the into the fleshy parts of my hand right Ooh, here. And this, yeah. Oh, and and that really that really hurts. And I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, we fought a lot. Me and my sister, we had some. Um, yeah, we did fight a lot, and a lot of it was physical. Oh wow! So. <laughs> my, the the only I I don't know if I ever told this one, but I, you know I used to run around like a dog and think I was a dog and a cat at one point. Yeah, I've told that story. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was running around like a dog in my grandma's garden, and my brother was chasing me, and all I remember is him tripping up and headbutting my foot my like the head my head and then lots of blood coming out realizing it was actually his teeth that went into my head snapped in half oh, no were embedded in my skull Jesus <laughs> and Christ. i was dripping down with blood i remember that one that was a good one yeah oh, that sucks is... my poor brother had to have crowns as well i felt really bad for him oh. <laughs> i was at a, i was at a nightclub one time and on, on, on the dance floor I, uh, you know, I don't know what, whatever song it was, but I was on my way down from jumping up and my body was on his way up and my mouth Ooh, was open yeah. and my jaw yeah. hit his, the top of his head and I smashed half my teeth. 
I was oh. it just I was just spitting out broken teeth into my oh. hand. I was yeah. So I went to the dentist so many times because of that. It was just I got so used to being the, <laughs> the dentist. That's oh, That's nothing worse. It was. It was teeth. terrible. I was drunk too, and I, I then I ended up getting extra drunk because uh, I wanted to kind of like you know forget it. Use it. Yeah, but do, you, do like I at least buy you a drink. No. No, maybe I don't know. Guess this is, this is like, I'm, only, like, I'm, only tw- I'm only twelve years old. Like for Christ's sake, come on, you know. So I can't. Oh right, much. what you, you were twelve getting drunk? I, I, I was. It was first of all. Yes, I was at a club. But second of all, I'm joking. It's just because the whole Irish, you know, stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> what? Which part are you joking about? Me being twelve. Oh okay, right. Oh okay. I was, Jeez. We no, I was probably it. seventeen. I was probably seventeen. Okay. But I'm just, you know, I just can't remember Honestly, exactly. not much better. <laughs> Why is 17 a club, clubbing age, isn't it? Or is yeah, it, it's not 18. 18. Yeah, oh but my you God. still go to oh, clubs Did you not drink until you were 18? Honestly, no. I think I might no, have had like peach snaps or something like that. I think I was drinking since I was 15. Yeah. You uh, rebel. And in, port, in, in pubs too. And I was one of my only friends who, who was actually able to go into a pub and drink without getting asked for ID. Is that because you already always... had a beard? <laughs> oh yeah, I already yeah I already, I already had a beard, and I was already uh, nearly six foot tall. I've been six foot tall since I was fourteen. Uh, nearly six foot tall, I suppose. God, I could never claim to be six foot. No, I, I was so, so pissed just off about that. Me, I just need to just go into a tangent here for a second. So one oh, of our patrons on. has asked us to cover a topic, and I've been kind of just keeping track of it in the chat as it goes down, and. I thought I will come around to that in a second. However, I've just read the line. So the machine was blocked, but they left it turned on while they lifted someone over the top of it. They never found his body because his remains were shredded and mixed in with the wood chips and probably ended up in a Jenkinson's truck. What? What have we missed? Yeah. What the fuck is going on in the chat? I've just read the full article. (laughs) And what happened was there was a blockage in the shredder. So some dude lifted him. Oh, the, the, no. the one guy that got lost. Right. But just like right, just 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 back up a second here, right? So this is an article yeah. of and it, the article is a BBC thing of waste management uh, waste manager jailed over workers shredder death. Honestly, I cannot think of a worse way to go. Yeah, I, it it's a it's a gruesome there. story, and uh, yeah, like, a worst for everybody or worse for the individual. You know what I mean? Because I mean, I mean, if, if he went in head first, he's not going to remember much. Yeah. Apparently he Isn't was. Isn't it pretty uh, instant? He, burning by lava. Yeah, he he's in Canuck somewhere so. now, oh, yeah. amongst all the wood, in a. He's got to live forever. In a landfill site. Well, his body, because uh, you know the plants, because he's it'll decompose and mm. yeah. How did they not uh, notice him missing for the rest of that working 29. day though? <laughs> he got fired. Wait. They didn't know he. Were, how did they know his body? We went through it then because his coat was found, and they watched the CCTV back. Oh no! They, oh, the CCTV shows him going into the machine and not coming back out. What? And the, the the colleague did what? Nothing. Didn't say anything. No. <whistles> no. <laughs> didn't say anything. Joe, you know, I've watched like a Chinese one where it's they a working. They didn't know for two days. Two days, yeah. What? The fuck? The link is in the Surely chat, you Chloe. Surely you noticed that. I, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> His mother reported him missing, <laughs> and he was classed as a missing person for two days before uh, they went through the CCTV, and then they found okay, his coat bad, on site. It's, it's fairly <gasps> bad that, that there was an accident and he fell into the machine. The fact that they didn't know for two days is crazy. It is. I wonder how much that his family got. crazy. Family must have gotten some money. They carried on shredding, so he was covered up with all the wood that they were shredding, and then they moved it to a landfill site in Cannock, and that's that's where his body stayed. They couldn't recover any part of his body. Not one bit of it. No, nothing was recovered. <sighs> no, it would just be minced meat, wouldn't it? It would be gone. Yeah, I know, but Why you could still get DNA. This, topic? this is horrific. This has made me so <laughs> sad. Is this? This would have made me sad. I, yes, it's sad. Granted, you know but what I mean? But why did he climb into a shredder? We're so, Come on. We're so desensitized to so much stuff because of uh, the, the internet now can sh- tell you everything and there's just so much going on and it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it is sad. 
like I, I have a heart. <laughs> it's just it's not the worst thing I've heard, I suppose. You know what I mean? I mean I'm sure there's way worse out there. Maybe if it was puppies. Like, come on. Puppies. Well, so Yeah, because yeah, you worse. killed puppies, David. <laughs> I didn't kill them. If anything I oh, ate you, in... your truck did. Well, it was it was best that I did run over them. Because they dropped from a, a 55 mile an hour vehicle. Do you think they're going to have a wonderful, happy life? You well, know? <laughs> not after you run them over, no. Well, they weren't going to be. I you could have stopped and adopted them, those poor Wait, little things. I, I forget. Was they would have been all story? crippled. What? Do you not, you don't remember story, this? Was this? Yes, this is a real story. Okay, uh, this is actually from one of the very first times I was on the show. Um, I was in my semi truck, and there was a minivan that merged onto the freeway. Uh, so it must have been going 60 miles an hour. And all of a sudden, I see uh, a puppy drop from the minivan. Not not from the windows, but from underneath the minivan. And it just dropped. I'm like, I, you know, just, and then you started rolling and toppling, toppling. And like, it's just, just right in my lane. And, and I, it just rolled right, it went right underneath my, um, underneath my tire. Like, I wasn't avoiding it, you know? It was just, uh, but you know that it's, it's not surviving. Throwing something out of a window at 55 miles an hour, it isn't surviving, first of so all. They, and was, they actually it, threw it out the window. No, it was it was oh. from un, it unless there was a off. hole, unless there was a hole in the minivan in, in, on the ground, and they were dumping it down there. But more than likely, it was they were just sorry. It wasn't a puppy; it was a kitten. Oh no! Because right. um, they were they must have been hiding underneath the minivan, and it wasn't just one; it was at least three, and it was. It was terrible. I they, one of them went right underneath my truck to where I didn't roll over it. You know, but, and the other, but I, I think two definitely went underneath my tires. Uh, and it was just, uh, yeah, it's sad. It's very, very, very fucking sad, <laughs> you know. And uh, I was, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't happy. That's see, that's uh, that's way worse than. The, and now the I guy, feel really um, bad for bringing it up because you look yeah, yeah. genuinely <laughs> quite I'm upset about honest, this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if someone wants to say if they if they. Uh, admit like, this is the story. Well, there's someone that we know that told me a story about their cat, and because of that story, I now have to OCD check my car every single time oh. I set off to make sure one of the cats was it in the engine in bay. And I, it was. I think I've told I, that story on the podcast, haven't I? Oh, have you? I didn't I know if you done. had. I didn't want to bring it up if you had. Yeah. And. Fuck me! I have to check the if the cats are out. I have to check the car. Yeah, bang uh, your bonnet it every time. Really, really weird. Bang your bonnet every time. Yeah, and like I'll, just put, I'll like you know rev the engine or like a pit the horn or something like that because. Those poor God, there's a lot of sad drivers out there right now because of this show. <laughs> think, think of all those Remember millions all of drivers listening to the show. I, right I'd now. rather run over a person and, uh, than an animal. Please. Honestly, I would feel Ooh, less guilt honestly, running a person yeah. over. No, I'm sorry. Honestly, this in reality, I would, I'd like to run over. Uh, it's sad, yes, but given the choice, all right, you got to run over a person that you, you know. Tom or my dog. Can't. Tom you or my can't. dog. I'd run Tom over. I'm sorry. Honestly, I would ask <laughs> you to well, run the, me the over. poor car after hitting Tom. <laughs> it's insured. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would definitely Tom would do damage though. That's the problem. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that, why you that, would choose. Yeah, that, okay. that wind oh, no. fucked up. <laughs> oh, Tom could jump over it, or you could just roly poly over it. You know what's happening? No, he just has to spread his legs and then go right underneath. <laughs> just top. To make ourselves happier about after this horrific topic that's just gone downhill. Should all right, do, let's do, see do, how uh... well we all can lie. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah let's lie in the mood. We've got very deep. All right. sad. That's what she said. <laughs> As usual, we'll have a uh, we'll have our wonderful host Tom go first. Tom first. Oh, yeah, we usually, we usually have you go first and then Chloe. I think me. you do. Yeah, that sounds about right. I was once caught in the center of a business revenge plot that got so out of hand it involved the Albanian mafia and a man going missing, presumably whacked. So whacked you mean okay. murdered? I don't even know how to. That's so long that I, I don't even... So, okay. How old were you? Um... 20, don't know, like mid 20s, somewhere like that. Wait a Where second, I was once caught in the center of business revenge. Oh, you, I, you read it, read it out. No, again. no, I um, I think you should give him a different one because Where? this is actually true. What is this one we, we've talked about? Uh, yeah, he's, he's he's actually told the story. 
Have I? Have you actually? Yeah. See, this is why I say you've got to tick them off. Otherwise, I don't know which one we've used. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I think I, he's told I, I it haven't. in a previous story. Yeah, that's the problem. No, yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is when he, uh, his boss, his son, the son of his boss, they go on a little bit of a, a trip in the van to go deliver. I get some money situation, but it was. Uh, yeah, you t- you've told this story. See, I don't remember it. What episode was it? You have to go back and listen. Show. Well, the uh, fact that I know that it's true is the thing. <laughs> And by the way, this I have no idea if it's not. I was just wondering. I, this is how I cut him out. It's not, it kind okay. of sounds like it's really no. It's uh, you, but I think I think it's well. I don't know where, where to go from here. I I I just I just know it's true. Okay. Is it? But yeah. What about you, Chloe? <laughs> I have no. I don't remember it. But I, I'm going with David. If if he says it's true, it's true. Uh, what? So what? What do you think happened, David? There was. I think the son of the boss are again. I'm trying to hard. You, he, you gave him a ride somewhere to drop off a package. I think it was like a money package. You didn't know, but it was uh, when you worked for the Indian restaurant or Chinese restaurant or something. You were a bartender there or something or another. I can't remember. It was so long ago since I heard this. And, yeah, that, uh, that that's that that's not the story. That's true though. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. That that right. one's definitely true. Okay, okay. okay. Right. Elaborate the, then. The, 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 all right, the we'll, one that we'll I'm talking this. about may or may not be. Okay. All right. So do I? Right. Okay. 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 Um, so where were you then? All right. Let's let's was, do this. Where were you? Um, I was in Italy. Oh, okay. And this Why was the Albanian all... mafia there. Well, so this was all over a pub crawl. Um, basically. A long story short, I, um, I I worked for a man called Benito, who Does looking not back sound on mafia it, whatsoever. <laughs> looking back on it, I should have realised that he might not be the best character because he's called Benito, and that's like calling your your son Adolf. It's like it's up there with not great names you should call people. But anyways, um. I'd I was, I'd been working for his pub crawl, and obviously I'm like I was I was ex sales, and I was very good at getting people in off the street and like doing like like face to face sales on the street. I'd been doing like fundraising, and so okay. he'd, be, he'd tried to make this this pub crawl a few times, but had failed, and he, this was his latest attempt at trying to do it. And I'd come on board as like a Ex fundraiser and someone who was able to do stuff like this, and actually started pulling really good numbers because he was giving me money for each person I brought in, and I could just pull huge amounts of people in. So I could fill an entire pub like within a day. Like I was getting masses of people in, and there was a, me and him had had a bit of a dispute, and I'd moved to another pub crawl called the Coliseum, and the first night I was there. Benito turned up with these two massive fucking guys. These two huge guys. And the two organizers of the Coliseum pub crawl went up to him and like, like they, they, they talked about something. And there was something that happened. And basically, from what I understand, after that point there, these two Albanian guys who were Albanian Mafia or had associations with Albanian Mafia realized how much money these pub crawls were starting to make and started to shake down the Colosseum and then started to shake down Benito. And then Benito just disappeared and no one heard from him. And a friend of his called Antonella said that he didn't go back home. He just vanished. And the only explanation is, and this is Shredder. even after 10 years, like, well, 10, 15 years, he's, he's dead. He got killed. He got whacked. That's the only explanation for it. Uh, okay. You, uh, how can we even ask any questions about this? Is the thing. Um, this sounds like a plot basically... from a film or something. Uh, see, this could have happened to somebody else. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I know you've done random uh, shit and shit has happened to you, but this just sounds like a plot of a film or something really random that. <sighs> I, I'm gonna. Uh, um. No, 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 no. Okay, if See, I was okay, I, hold I, on I fucking second. threw them with this one, didn't I? Uh, okay, so yeah, why? Why didn't you acknowledge that there might how be? How are you caught in it? Sorry. Yeah, hmm? and how did you not know they were mafia? That's obviously a weird names going on. I, how did I know? Th- this was what people were saying. People were saying around the around the thing that these guys were Albanian mafia. I right. I have no reason to doubt what they say, but everyone within the Coliseum, all the the two brothers who were the bosses of the pub crawl, they were both said that these guys were Albanian mafia, and then. Benito's friends also said that they were Albanian Mafia. So I'm just going off what people say. I bet, you know what? I bet this isn't his story. I bet it's somebody else's story. Yeah. Lie. So I'm going I'm I'm going to go with lie. I I think I think the same as David. I it it sounds you've you've gone straight on for the story. We've not had I'll... to prompt you for anything. It's like you've rehearsed it. Yeah. <laughs> in in my just... head it just sounds like you've rehearsed it. A lot of weird shit has happened to you throughout the uh, yeah. throughout yeah. your lifetime, and, and I, you, I can see this being one of them. And yeah. you, but uh, but the way you've explained anyway, it, I, you've not explained it in Tom way. Have I not? Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> All right, go ahead I, and tell I, us. I will. I will have to work on that. In which case, go on. This could be a uh, ploy, though. Yeah. What well, is it? So you're both saying what? I say it's a lie. Yeah. Okay. It's a lie. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair enough. You've got me, but it is completely true. <sighs> Fuck you. It's is true from complete. somebody else? Or is no. it true for you? No, no. This, you were this, in the middle was, of it. This was in, when, I, when I was in Italy. This is like how shit went down. This is this is the reason the the foot story came about. This is the lead up to the oh, foot yeah. story. Because I left the, the Colosseum pub crawl because it just got fucking hectic. And then I was looking for some other work. And this guy was like, oh, I can get you some security work. And I turned up at his house. And he's like, hey. I, there's no security work, but I can worship your feet for 50 euros. That's a thing. I was like, no, maybe not. Mm-hmm. So I then came home. All right. Two points. Wow. <laughs> Emerson Biggins See, has got a It even ties into another story. Game. But it, you made it too believable that it was like, nah, this is fake. This is fake. This was rehearsed. That's it's the whole not. point. I know, but it was good. Well done. Last time I tried that, you went, oh, it sounds legit. That's like bollocks. All right. One of, one of our wonderful uh, Patreons may have the name of the show. Would I bullshit uh, you? Would I bullshit you? <laughs> Would I bullshit you? Great. I think that's, that's it. it. I think that's I think it. We have it. <laughs> yeah. What's your real name, Emerson? Amazing. So we can uh, shout you out. How have we not come up with that one? That's amazing. No. Come on in. Let's do it. That is right. very, very good. All right, Chloe. Let's. Uh, you shouldn't be. My God, the lies are... Co- you're scary. You're a scary <laughs> good liar. Uh, you are oh, very, very thanks. good. Well, uh, not, I don't know if I'm you not. should be saying thanks to that. Normally I'm really bad. And I can't lie. I'm, I'm Clearly impressed. not. Clearly we have evidence to counter that. I got sacked from my first job as a trainee zookeeper because I kept taking photos of animals wearing hats that I found. I What? <laughs> what hats? <laughs> I mean that I know that's not the most important question here, but like what hats? I need to know that part first. Well, at first it was like <laughs> little kids would leave little caps and stuff behind and I thought, oh that would make a great photo. So I started using what? like what little you, what, kids. What kind of animals? Oh, well, it was mainly monkeys because it was like a little little zoo that is um Sheldon Zoo. It's really tiny, so there's lots of little types of little monkeys. Like the tiny ty- the tiny and they got, like, the little cats. Yeah, like the really little little ones. So you had to use kind of kids' hats really to sort of do it and even then they were a little bit big but because i had them on on you know i could just lost property i was like sweet perfect and then i got a bit obsessed of it and then i went out to shops and started getting like little dolls ones and stuff like that and there was like a little top hat one and i was like oh this would be perfect for little the little monkey they're like um oh what was the bloody monkey called the little spider monkey i thought that would be perfect for him so i got him a little top hat and the it was the cutest picture ever. I do remember Chloe do saying or saying that she she worked at a zoo. I I feel like that's very familiar. So I I feel like it's familiar too, but she also. But I don't know if we're just kind of remembering the time that she wanked off a horse. <laughs> and kind of, <laughs> we're kind I of like. <laughs> 
<laughs> where was that's the zoo? What, sorry, that, where was the zoo exactly? Uh, so this is Sheldon Zoo that I used to, to do work for. It was only little. Um, it was such a long time ago. I can't remember how many monkeys they had. But you got but... fired. Being, you're so little. And they fired you for doing, for doing something really cute. Yeah, but it was like kind of against their their thing. What's the what's the word when you go against the your contract? The policy. The policy. Yeah, it certainly was not in my policy to do that. <laughs> I mean, you you could get um, them like fruit, and they could sit on your shoulders. We had little lemurs as well, and they could sit on your shoulders, and you could do like feed them and things like that. Is, lem- then... is, is a lemur a monkey? No, a lemur's not a monkey, but we had lemurs. What's as a well. lemur? Well, it's like the ring-tailed lemurs. The who? Ring-tailed lemurs. Okay, that's not saying what a lemur is. What's well, a lemur? Just... <laughs> um, I know it's, it's like... Uh... It's kind of like... It's kind of like a monkey, but with a fox face, almost. Yeah. Okay. Like a meerkat, isn't they? Like, I, and... Yeah, but, but different yeah. Colored. Yeah. Okay, and you didn't... And you put... Did you put hats on, on, the, on these cats? On I these didn't guys? do on the meerkats, because they had... They just didn't like it. They were, they had like really long tails and they'd sit. But on the me. monkeys did like it. So the monkeys, <laughs> the monkeys saw that there was a it. bunch of. Yeah. yeah. So they were like, "Hey, we want to wear this cat. that's way too big for me because there's no child's head that could possibly fit that monkey." Yeah. <laughs> they loved it. Honestly, they were like, "Oh, they were just so cute." But the lemurs <laughs> were so just bu- too This is so bullshit. <laughs> when was this? Yeah. How well, long at ago first was I went to, and did voluntary work for them, and then it was. Once I'd done a bit of voluntary work, I took on a job pretty much straight from school. So I didn't, I wasn't there. Yeah. yeah it was... So you got fired from a volunteer position. Well, no, I, really I, no, I was volunteered at first and then I went on and then I got employed through them because I did a lot of work for them. And then when I thought I was employed and then I just, I had more access to things and then I was like, oh, lost property. And then I just found these hats and I was just so like, how are you taking, oh, that's so cute. How are you taking the pictures? What were you taking the pictures with? Oh, I had a little camera. I had like you a really a old camera. school one that my dad bought me and it was like, um, you know, when it's got like two megapixel and it's like a proper little camera. It was one of those. And then I'd go home and print them out. That was so cute. Okay. That sounds, that sounds plausible. Yeah. That sounds plausible. Yeah. And yeah. how did they find out about this? <laughs> they caught me. <laughs> they, caught they just me. caught you. They, they yeah. literally, yeah, I was doing it and I thought I was being sly and, um, I didn't realize there was like another trainee staff in for this day. And she came in to sort of assist. And she was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then went and reported it. And then, it, yeah, it turned so out to be a there's, massive in the In the policy, policy in the thing. fine print, they, it's, it says that you cannot put hats on <laughs> monkeys. No, right? it doesn't. Because if you do, and take pictures of it, like, was it was it one or the other, or both have to happen at the same time? No, and so will, the main thing was, it wasn't necessarily the hats putting on them that they were offended by. It was the policy that we weren't allowed to take photos of the animals. Why wouldn't you be able to take a photo of Because we're just not allowed to take personal You're at a ones. zoo. Yeah, but that's for the public stuff. We weren't allowed to do that. We weren't allowed to be seen taking photos, things like that. It just... It just wasn't allowed. I but don't know you why. were nobody was there. Nobody people only showed up b- well, by is... accident. Nobody was actually supposed to be there. So it was No, they really were all matter. meant to be down the other place and I didn't realise this new trainee bird came over to Yeah, me. but you're not supposed to be taking pictures in public. That's I'm sure that's what the policy says. Probably, no, I happen to have but... a copy of this policy. Oh, <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> bullshit. Bullshit. All right. Uh what, I think it's just, time for a verdict. Just quickly, oh, yes. quickly. Okay. Were you allowed to so you were allowed to go in by yourself with the primates? Yeah, because they're only little. They weren't like full-on chimpanzees. They were like How little... did the hats fit on these tiny things? Because I had to buy yeah, little doll the ones. Their heads, their heads are... What? I had little to buy doll, but you, little but doll you doll said you But no, you uh, yeah. said... Lost At yeah. first, I started with lost and found and realized I liked it. So then I had to go out and buy some. But what ones. was in the lost and what was it in lost and founds that you were like? In the lost and found were the little kid ones, the little like kid sun hats and the caps, yeah. But they were a mm-hmm. little bit too big. But I just thought they looked adorable. So that's when I went out, and then when I next went to like a shop, like where they had toys and that, you had like all the accessories for Barbies and stuff like that, and you had the hats. And then I, I think she would have told us this those. earlier. You Why know, instead I of just yeah. earlier, because we. Uh, you said that their hats were from the bloody lost and found. Yeah. And you just left it at that. I think, you know, it's a very, I think, honestly, I, I think it's time it for that. I said, I went to the shop after. If you go back, okay, this, you'll discover this that sounds... I'd already said that. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Fair, fair enough. See, fair this, enough. It's, um, it's weird. It, th- this story has, whereas some of the stories she's told where like she's been got in trouble with something, you're like, yeah, but Chloe doesn't. And, I don't and get obviously it has the getting in trouble, which Chloe doesn't do. I but don't it think has that got the innocence yes. of a <laughs> yes. of a Chloe story. We're like, well, yeah, but I could believe she could get in trouble for this. It is the sort of thing that it was quite embarrassing, which is why I don't really talk about it normally. But obviously, this would I lie to you thing. We're just like, ah, fuck it, let's do it. Oh my it's god, I've got a few of those. It's quite, it's quite, well, why, it. it's quite embarrassing. Why would you go up to someone going, oh yeah, I used to put hats on these little monkeys when I worked in the zoo. I'd be bragging. I don't. You I don't have... on a T-shirt, Chloe. I hate to tell you that you have told us so many stories which are way worse than this. <laughs> so I called bullshit on that. I, All right. I, the lay-by story immediately springs to mind. So yeah, I can definitely say story. there are. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to go with false. There's no way this is true. This. This cannot be true. I, I think it might have happened. I don't think it was you. Um. Now, yes. What was really what was really interesting about this uh-huh. is because I happened I happened to notice the spots. Do you know? Because I happened to be, I happened to binge watch. Would I lie to you? <laughs> and this happened to be one of the ones. And so, if you are going to be giving lies, anybody who is sending in lies to people, uh, please don't give ones that have been on. <laughs> <laughs> Would I lie to you? <laughs> but what was, what I played along. But I wanted to see what was very interesting is that I got to see Chloe lie right away, <laughs> immediately. Wait, was this one that she? This is one that that got no, sent through true. to. She's what done about? this. This is she off hasn't the... done it. This was on. This was on the TV show. So this was well, wait. Was this one off the fly? She's done pretty much. Yeah. Holy fuck! You are. Yeah. I was on the fence with this one. <laughs> Well, it was, really, it was just, I, 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 yeah, it was, it was very interesting watching it and uh, knowing <laughs> that she's lying. She's literally lying to my face right now. You know what I mean? As... <laughs> was I slowly bringing you around, David? Were you slowly thinking, actually, maybe she's not lying? No, no, I knew right away. Her. As soon as, uh, first of all, I was like, wait, she's already told a story. Wait a second. No, she hasn't. This is Lee Mack. This is totally Lee Mack. It, it wasn't was. Lee Mack. It was Rod Gilbert. <laughs> was it? Was yeah. that, is that the other guy? Oh, Gilbert, yeah, the Welsh dude. Uh, yeah. Oh, is that who oh. it was? Okay. I, but anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, d- d- but I thought that might be funny. But yeah, definitely don't be doing any any. Um, uh, and do you know what? It was worth it that them. you let it happen. Well, though, well played. The fact that you... Well played. <laughs> yeah, it obviously was a lie, but it was a good one. I appreciate. Does anyone that get one. points for that? <laughs> nope. Um, well, no, no, because. Well, if David knows There's that no she's lying, because I, I guess it was false. Yeah, but I guess false. Well, so you guessed false. So you both get points. She gets points if. She... Yeah. No. No, she only gets a point no, if. Yeah, uh... she, she, it's, it's her who gets. So the you point. don't get a point yeah, for yeah, guessing. Yeah, I actually right, no. them. So, no. Okay. I, I got, I got two points for the first yeah, round. Yeah, because we both I guessed wrong. I got your two points. Yeah. Okay, Luke. Okay. Should we go with Dave next? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Yeah, that was hard. I get, I get nervous. Isn't it very ridiculous it how, how nervous really we get nerve-wracking. right before? Like, oh, because it's the stuff that I have given is very embarrassing. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I still haven't seen it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take a little, little look. I called 911 for directions uh, when I was drunk. <laughs> this is definitely true. I'm just going to go with true on that. No. Because <laughs> you were throwing things to do. You think was a number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? Because I I was lost. I was walking around and I was lost. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know where north, south, what? east, west was. Right. Okay. Right. So where... Did you have a mobile? What? Did you pick up a payphone? Yeah. I yeah. It was. Uh, I was. The bar was closed. Right. And uh, I was. I was. Uh, I think I was on my way home. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But I didn't know which way home was. I didn't realise I was in the wrong where, direction. Where were you? What country were you in? Obviously in America. I'm in um, one. Yeah, I'm, I'm in I'm in America. Yeah. I'm in I'm in uh yeah, I'm in America. Right, okay. And so you've gone out to a bar, what by yourself or with friends? Uh with friends. What what sort of bar was it that you went to? Just a stereotypical dive bar. A stereotypical dive bar. <laughs> 
in America. You know, the, pool. The, it had pool. It had karaoke. It was. Really, you, you think you're going to catch me out on a bar? I'm just I've been to, I've been I a bar. Want to know. I want, I want, I want <laughs> to set up the scene here. Would you like the name of the bar? Yeah. Okay, the name of the bar was Out of Bounds. Out of Bounds. Oh, that's a good. That's yeah, there was pool bounds. tables. There's karaoke. There's, yeah. And how drunk did okay. you get? How much did you drink? <laughs> Apparently enough to call nine one one. Um, I was uh, I probably smashed. The okay. fact that I didn't know which, which way, you know. So you used uh, a mobile phone, right? Yeah. Why didn't you have saved numbers on that? I had saved numbers. I just, so why didn't you ring help... someone else that you knew? What made um... you go 911? This sounds like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, why did I call 911 and not my friends? Well, it was like three o'clock in the morning. Okay. And I didn't think anybody would answer. And I just needed to get turned around and pointed in the right direction. Okay, and what did they say when you rung up and they said, 911, what's your emergency? I called and I played the innocent foreign Irish guy (laughs) and saying, "Um, hi, I'm so sorry. This is not an emergency. I just, hopefully we weren't guys were busy. (laughs) And can I, um, could I don't know. I'm walking home, but I've gotten lost. I'm, I'm, I have been, I, I have been drinking, and I got a little disorientated. I just need to get back to the main road. That way, I can actually figure out which way home is. I just, I just, I think I went the wrong way. And I'm new to the area. I'm kind of scared. And yeah, and uh, they went. Yeah, and it was like, okay, well, what can you see? Well, I can see this, and I can see that. All right, okay. There should be a. There should be like a, I, 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 I said there was uh, there was a school. And one day I said, what's the name of the school? And like, it was something, something, whatever. And okay, so if you're looking at the school, turn left and, and go all the way up to the, go all the way up to the, you can't go anymore and then make a left and then you, you, you'll you be at the main road. So they actually ah. helped you, did they? Excuse me? They, yeah. they actually, they fully helped you. And... But they helped me. But then I thought that there'd be cops waiting for me. So <laughs> I went, I went a wrong, I went a different direction again. <laughs> And, uh, but I did figure out, I just, I just, you know, I took that information and I kind of altered it and I still made it back to the, the main road, but I didn't follow their instructions completely. So you got paranoid after that. So what, what you mean smoking at that point as well then? <laughs> smoking? <laughs> no, no, I did not do marijuana. Was, it, was this in the green state or not? <laughs> back then there was no, no. green state. Okay. okay. Why didn't you use Google maps? It was probably a, a really old phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Be, this is the, don't forget, David's a lot older than us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. Nicely <laughs> done. Fucking hell, Chloe. Just, just go for him. Why not? Who a lad? <laughs> <laughs> I've lived. I've seen yeah. things. <laughs> okay. So you had it on a flip phone. And oh, fuck, I don't know is my last answer about this. So what, who were you going back to? My house. Yeah, but was it was it just you? Was this with the uh, there was this with your missus? I was single. Oh, you were single live, at the I time. Live... Did you have yeah. a lorry license at the time? I did. But you what? So is you how long you were back for? Was this like a Friday night or something? Yeah, yeah. As long as I wasn't working uh, within twenty four hours, basically, I would only ever drink if I had the next day off. Okay. Sensible, David, as well. You know what? Oh. Yeah. What? Go ahead. No, nothing. You got. You, you're the ones who have to ask me the questions. I was going to add to the story, but can you add to the story, please? <laughs> <laughs> I would. I. Um, I don't know. I. I. I hey, I was drinking hef- hefeweizen. This is the drink I was drinking. So is there you go. Actually, I added to the story. Making that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I drank it by the by the jug full. Okay. I'm going to go with true, true on this. I, I, I was true. false all the way until the 911 call and what actually was said. And at that point, I was like, oh, no, this actually sounds a lot more reasonable yeah. than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be like a crazy story. But and when you come no, across this as is like, like a, I'm lost and, you know, I'm, I'm scared. And, this is a genuinely nice, yeah. this is a nice story about someone who asked for help and got it. I yeah. I like this story. If it's not true, I don't want it not to be not true. I, I like yeah. this story. It is nice. No, I didn't actually make it home that night either. What? What? I didn't actually make it back to where I was going to go. <laughs> where did you end up? In an empty apartment. What? What? With no, with no, 
but no, actually, my apartment that I haven't moved into yet. I just happened to have the key, <laughs> and it was it wasn't. I, I hadn't moved in yet. <laughs> you just turned up early. <laughs> <laughs> because were you it was much closer. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh, oh, I think a week. Okay, so it was empty. You didn't just turn up at someone's doors, <laughs> let yourself <laughs> right, in. Yeah. Right, I'm on the couch. I'm on the couch tonight. <laughs> they're in the middle. They're in the middle. Of, they're in the middle of moving. Dear, there's, so a, they... there's an Irish man downstairs, and he's <laughs> he's on the sofa now. How can you tell he's Irish? Well, he's drunk, passed out. What else would he be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. This is all, all the way true. I say this has got to be true. Yeah. Come on, David. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yes. that night, yeah, it was true. Yeah, that night was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that night was just something crazy. I think I fond I memories. I, I fell asleep on a median. Uh, what do you call it? Like between on a road. I think I fell asleep at one point. <laughs> oh my god! Between it was like uh, I think I did again. It was just I hardly ever drink. Is the thing. Yeah. All right, and it's just that I don't want to be, and it's very rare. I'm mo- I, I can't remember how many days I had off after that. I don't know. <laughs> it was just that uh, sometimes I just forget what I can handle because I hardly ever drink. And my, you know, and now some of the questions is you ask me, who did I go? Who did I go to the bar with? Well, I went with friends, and why didn't they give me a lift home? Oh, you know? <laughs> it's oh, really yeah, hard to know what to really ask you. Well, that that person, really yeah, the, the reason being thing. why they didn't, I was in their car at one point. God, I can't believe I'm telling this story. So, was, this is like 20, 20, it's around 20 years old, 20 years ago. I was okay. in their car. Yeah. I, I wasn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be done drinking. I didn't, I didn't want to be done. Like even the bar is closed and all that. I you wasn't accepting that. I wanted to keep going. So I'm in there, I'm in their car. So you were already <laughs> safely on the way home. And you're like, and I said, and they were like, and I was like, uh, they were driving home and uh, they said, as I'm like, uh, yeah, dude, you're going home. You're too drunk. I'm like, ah, I'm not drunk. Okay. I need to get out of this car. I got to puke. Well, that's <laughs> so I just so they have to pull over now. And uh, once I pulled over, I started walking away. And they're like, "Yeah, I'm done." They were like, "Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him." <laughs> that's done. So I started wandering around. So I that's when I kind of kind of lost where I was because I didn't realize where I where, where I was turning. And so I just, you realized I just wanted you fucked to, up <laughs> after that point. Uh, yeah, like, damn I, it. Yeah. So I just kind of kept wandering and wandering and wandering, and eventually, as I'm like, uh, I you know, you get very brave when you've had a few drinks. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. I called 911. <laughs> Whatever. They're cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, at one point they actually called me back because uh, I actually got disconnected because they actually kept me on ho- on the line. And like, yeah, I can stay. I got, she's got, I got nothing better going on. Whatever. And uh, so drop, yeah, the call dropped, called me right back. Yeah, just making sure you're okay. And then after that, I kind of have a feeling that the, the cops were going to be waiting for me. <laughs> they, may, they might have, might, they might have been waiting. Honestly, have been waiting. it might have no been idea. for the best by the sounds of things. <laughs> At least you'd have got right. home. Yeah, I did. Or a good I managed nice prison cell or something. You know, you'd be nice and warm know, and looked right. after. Could yeah, you but I did. Ma- I did for that. Hmm? What? Drunk? I don't know. Today? Drunk in public, maybe. Uh, you know, I was like, hey, I'm just walking. I'm just. I just got lost. Like that's all. Yeah. You know, I have no way to figure this out. I'm like, I usually, I, I you know, I know the route to get home from the bar, but you know, you know. Yeah, you've, you've <laughs> anyway. gone left and right, and then you've no idea where you are. Yeah, I just kept walking. Moving cars. Mm. Well, really they, pull, they pulled. They pulled over to let me puke. Yeah, then you, well, yeah, just then said you got that out. The bar is, is now across the road from them. <laughs> is it actually? So, for, probably for this very reason, just so this doesn't happen again. She doesn't want the repeat of anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's All right, hilarious. let's go. Let's go with Tom. That was so let's good. Go with Tom. I like that story. I got. I got zero points. Tom's ahead by two. I know what's going on. That's not. <coughs> so all in it now. Come on, Tom. I once got stuck in a car wash for two hours. Were you in a car? Obviously, I was in a fucking car. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you accidentally the, walked the in there. What kind of question because, is that? Because showers don't fit you because you're eight foot tall. <laughs> All right? And this is the place where you normally take where you bathe. Well played. Well played. <laughs> okay. Why did you um, get out of the car? What if you were stuck well, couldn't for two get hours? out of the car, could I? Well, surely it's stuck. I was so was stuck. it continuously wet? What? No, was it, it was no, it wasn't. No, you see, so you know, like the the little the spinny things that the go down the side yeah. of the car. Yeah. Well, so they they got they went down the side of the car, and yeah. then they locked. But the the front spinny thing was like it was in front of the windshield, right? And the there was a dryer 
behind the car. So you know, so you know, like as it comes off, so the, the spinny things were traveling like down, and yeah, the dryer yeah, yeah. was got behind. Stuck to the side. Yeah. So I had the dryer behind the car. I had the spinny thing in front of the windshield, and I had the uh-huh. spinny things beside the driver's side door. And obviously, uh-huh. I am nearly seven feet tall, so I then can't crawl into the back seat because I'm just too big for it. And they had what to car wait was for. It? Uh, it was a Vauxhall Zafira Tura. Okay, that checks out. It's like you drive because you got to fit in it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. And I just, I just can't, I just can't get into the back seat. So they had to. So had two to... hours. Well, you didn't have a sunroof or anything in that. You know, How old were you? you and when did this up. happen? Whatever. Did you have a cell phone? What, 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 what's going oh, on? Oh yeah, no, I had a cell phone. I called. I called. Like, so I, I found the like, number. Did you have a, like a smartphone? Nine one one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I called. I, I found the number for the garage, and I was like, I. How? I'm, oh, so this is an unmanned car wash. Yeah, it's one of the automatic ones, the ones where yeah, you yeah. Speak. so you go into the garage and you have to kind of you get like a code. You, pay for, you get a token uh, you get like code, a, like yeah. a six digit code and you have to All right, that's that sounds okay. then you and then you basically just kind of I don't know, you type the code in and then you sit there. But then obviously they the people in the garage firstly don't know and secondly probably don't care that you're stuck in it. So I had to call up and I was like, Hey, I, I'm stuck in your car wash. <laughs> Um, they came out. <laughs> this is fucking honestly. It was one of those moments where it, it's not that bad, apart from you're sat in the car and you're like, I, <laughs> you have to open the window and there's these fucking rolly things. And you're having to <laughs> shout out the thing saying, Can you move it? And like, but there's no over, there's no like manual override. So but there is. Get, well, that they didn't know where it was if there was. I mean, in fairness, they probably weren't trained on the actual things. They had to wait for an engineer. No, they just they out. just work in there, and the engineer or whatever owns yeah, it. Yeah, so basically, it took, took it, all, all it was. I have no idea. I just take it again. I was yeah. trying to catch you. All, all it was it is was just basically it out. was just waiting for an engineer to come out. It it's two it, hours. That's a long time. So you had a stopwatch. Time. Well, I don't know. It was, might might have been like an hour and like forty five minutes. It might have been two hours fifteen. I don't know. I mean, I, I'll be honest. Yeah, it wasn't that. So, I sat on my. I sat on my phone and watched YouTube. So you managed thing. to open it your window, like though. So why can you climb out the window? Because there's big rolly things. Like the rolly things were like literally by the sides of the of the door. But if you managed to jump into the back seat, you could have gotten out. Yeah, if I, I wasn't reckon... so gangly tall, I could have. No, gotten you're gangly yeah, looking... tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yes, yeah, so only you folded you're... The, the passenger seat down and climbed over. Yeah. See that? Like it's it's all believable until you said that you can't get into the back seat. Anybody can get into <laughs> right. the back seat. I don't think you. I don't think you guys understand how fucking tall I am. I, don't... I have. Yeah, you are, but. Um, yeah. You can, you can right. still worm your way across, all right? You don't have to bend knees. You could literally just worm your way backwards. It's actually. Get yourself into so the back seat. Lie like it, a plank. That's, that's open not the, door. the issue. It's, it's the, the issue is his car was stuck. Wheel. No, it's, just, well, it's oh. the steering wheel. It's basically, because my knees are so long. So right. this, this is the problem with. with your knees to find... are very long. So you can't no, push your knees. You, the driver no, no, chair no. back or anything. Give yourself a bit more room. Lift no, up the steering wheel. The give yourself a bit more fucking, room. You've, you've been. Do you, you not remember when I got in your car and I yeah, broke and you the broke seat Darryl's so I had to car. push it? Yeah. I, I had to push the seat back so far. And even then, my knees couldn't fit under the steering wheel. Yes, I, I have do to remember kind of, that. I have to push my knee kind of underneath and then scoot it round to try and get my knees under the steering wheel. So that, you that's struggle to get in and out just out the normal door then? Just just out the at. normal door, let alone right, trying okay, to get okay, out okay, the, okay. the opposite. Okay, but why that's not, you... that, we're not going to catch him out. We're not going to catch him out by asking these particular questions. We're going to ask, there's a, like, uh, personally, two hours is a long time. All right. You could say to any lawyer, like, dude, I was scared. Is this when you, you shit could, yourself? You could have sued. You could have sued. Oh, yeah. How did you pee? How did you shit yourself in there? It was only two hours. I sat on all the how, how many times did you masturbate? Oh, three or four? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I just I was just sit on YouTube. They, they asked if I was all right. They asked if I so wanted you, a drink or something. And they got me you like, weren't a in a rush of, like, to get anywhere then. Or something like that. Did you no. have to pay for the coke? No. They, they, did they you like throw back in their face? Aha, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you would have. You would have. <laughs> <laughs> you would have. You would have asked for Pepsi. <laughs> I might it might have been a Pepsi. I don't know. I, I remember just getting a drink. You'd remember. Uh, the they, Pepsi they brought me a bottle of something. Chances are it would have been a Pepsi, knowing, knowing, knowing me, if I'm honest. It sounds like such a realistic story. All right. I think we've asked so many questions at this point. Uh, I don't even know how I would catch you out in this one. Because uh, the thing is, we need to like quit ha- telling stories that happened to somebody else because it's too easy to actually. <laughs> 
come out come out with the facts, you know. Uh, I think it's a lie. I think it happened to somebody <laughs> else. Oh, I think it might be the truth because I think Tom would have just given up trying to get out. I think he would have gone, no, it's not happening. I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> so it's true because of my laziness. Is what I, you're I, to I, say. Yeah. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think you just... Again, okay. You reasons why I think fate. you would have just gone. Yeah, it's fine. Go on, go on, David. <laughs> you know okay. me so well. Other reasons why I think it's false is that you you could have gotten out if you if you yeah, went into the back seat. And then I know you're in a nice. You're in a car. You're safe. You don't have to leave. Okay, I get out. What do I do? What do I got to do now? Just wait and stand for your car to get eventually released, and then eventually you're gonna have to get into it again. You know what I mean? So I know I'm kind of making an argument for you in that point because like the best thing to do is to just wait in your car instead of getting out. It's probably comfier. Uh, in fa- in yeah. fairness, I mean, in fairness, if I if I really tried, could I have genuinely got out? I mean, maybe, maybe I could have got out. But yeah, at the same time, what, what am I going to do? Am I going <laughs> to sit in the petrol station until my fucking mm. car's released from the thing? There's not really a lot I can do. Right. I may as well get there where I get free fucking Pepsi. So, you know. <laughs> or Coke. Or Coke. Or Coke. You can't <laughs> remember. All right, here's the available. thing. Uh, I think it's false, but it's a true story. I, I just think it's I don't true. Th- I just think it's, yeah. He just accepted All fate right. and lived with it. Go on, Tom. Come on. It Tell is, what really happened to... in fact, completely false. <laughs> it is not a story that anyone's ever told me. I've just made it up. It's completely false. God, isn't it crazy how oh. well people can lie on the spot like that? That was a good one. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Well played. Well done, David. I genuinely... I was. But not really, though. He had me convinced. Yeah. Is the thing. He had me convinced, and it's just it, it uh... does. It's got all the hallmarks of one of my stories. Yeah, it, it does. does. <laughs> it does. It has. It has wow. the. It has the random thing happening. It's got the laziness. It's got. Yeah. The... <laughs> it's literally checks out. It's very good. All right. Uh oh, I'm nervous now. It's another one. <clears throat> I stupidly walked my bike along the seawall with the water smashing against me up to my waist because I couldn't be bothered to go around. <laughs> wait. Hmm. What? What? I Wait. So, were you in the water? No, this was wait, like... Where were you? Wait, so, <laughs> all right, explain the situation here. So this, is back... Explain... this is back before I had a car license and I used to cycle everywhere. And um, right. Just, just quickly, to... did your brother save you in this story? <laughs> no, he didn't actually. Because uh, there's if water. Any of them I'm just assuming out, he I've must never, have been. Right. I've never actually admitted this story because it's genuinely that stupid. I don't know. I don't know how I didn't die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. So I, so I used to sometimes cycle along the seawall, and this was I'd finished work at the pub, so I'd been with the horses. I'd finished work early at the pub, so it was about nine, ten o'clock. So I'd done like a later shift. And finished a little bit earlier, whatever it was. And um, I cycled along and I got to the seawall. I'd already been, you know, it used to take me about 45 minutes to cycle to work and home. So I'd already cycled the most of it. And the last bit was in Dawlish, was the seawall. And there's this bit that is high. And then you got to go down some stairs. And then it's slightly lower. And it was quite late at night. And I couldn't be but to go all the way around would have taken like half an hour again. Whereas literally cutting across this wall would have like 10 minutes and I'd been home. So I was like, oh, should I just do it? It'll be fine. It won't be that bad. So, so it was already crashing up over the wall because it was like rough sea. Right. And it was, it was pretty much up to my waist. And it was every time like a wave would crash in, I would brace my bike, put the brakes on, lean into the wall and just like brace it. And then every time it swept out, I would hold myself in position and just hold those brakes on and just hold myself in position. And I kept doing that the whole way long. And all I could think was, why the fuck have I done this one? I'm going to die and drown. And yeah, I and made it, it across. Was it dark? <laughs> it was dark. Yeah. Like pitch black. Yeah, I could see the lights in the distance from the town. I obviously had my little light on my my. Um, Fuck me! Yeah, and, and on my is helmet. True, this is so bad. It's this so is bad. So bad. And uh, yeah, for the sake of saving myself twenty minutes journey, probably a little bit more, maybe I just was choosing the lazy route out and went, "Ah, it'll be fine." 
And I was and quite how much young and naive. Take you to go, like, because of that. Do you know what? It probably would have been quicker to go round because I was like bracing myself so much. It was just, I just remember now, and I'm like, what an idiot! Like, what? <laughs> like how I didn't die, I do not know. Um, so anyway, I made it to the other side, and thank God, all was fine. I cycled back home, obviously half soaking wet by this point. And the other thing is, I don't know why I, mean, I did I, it because I, I, I had a nice more bike. Than half. Yeah, I was soaked. I I had a really nice bike, and I was a bit worried about the salt water, so I don't know why I did it. <laughs> it was a bit of a stupid thing. So let me um <sighs> step back for a second here. All right, now you're on your way home from work. Yes. Yeah. I just so you can home. easily change your clothes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I was like, not as if you were, not, not, you wouldn't do it if it was the other way around. Yeah, and I don't uh, think I thought it was as bad as it was. I thought it'd be all right. But... Now, it is known for the last few years how lazy Chloe is. <laughs> all right. Is it? We've understood. No, it hasn't, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're thinking of Tom here. <laughs> oh, yes, that's my bad. <laughs> I'm thinking of myself. Um, so the story checks out. It sounds like a, it's a pretty good, you know, yeah, hey, believable. Isn't that what we're all trying to do? Is figure out if she's bullshitting okay, and okay. Uh, and she, she you no, know, she's she's. But I'm trying to think of stuff to say. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I have nothing. I don't know. Shit. She. Uh, it just sounds plausible. Um, okay, how old were you? Sorry, this is when you worked for a bar. This is, this so is, when you were like nineteen. No, uh, I would have been about twenty, probably about twenty. Okay, nineteen, whatever. 19, nineteen, twenty. 20. Yeah. Same thing. I and, was one year um, apart. I love you, no. <laughs> well, you, when you get to my age, all right, one year <laughs> apart doesn't really matter. <laughs> Back in my day, <laughs> it all blends in. <laughs> oh, it sounds like something that could easily happen. And have I done it myself? No, I haven't. This particular thing is completely, you know, it definitely hasn't happened to me. But would I do unhinged. it myself? Yeah, if I'm okay, and like it's 45 minute ride home. And how, how many minutes did you have left before you got home? Probably about five, 10 minutes. I mean, in the ah, yeah. it would have been and how five long, minutes. How long would it have taken you extra to go around? Oh, probably 11 or 20 minutes on top easily. Sweet. And oh, up yeah, hill as well. Were you on yes. top of the seawall? Yeah, I was on top of the seawall when there was a sheer drop Wait a second. as well. And so the water was over the seawall? Yes, but it was the lower part of the seawall. So it was like this a high a bit, and then it drops oh. down. Yeah, so it's on a beach, and it's right next to the railway. which is. Right but you're on the road. You're not on the wall. No, I'm on the seawall, on the actual seawall. Wait a right. second. How, okay. how many, no, how so, many so inches? You're, are you on the kind of like the, there's, there's so the seawall, and there's the bit, there's the kind of promenade bit that you walk along. Yeah, is that what you're yeah. talking about? It's so the, the seawall so in Dawlish, it, you've, got, um, right. you've got Brunel's railway right along the seawall. So it's a big railway wall to protect that railway. So it's quite solid. Some of it's quite high, and then you got lower bits. So it's like, um, how wide is it? It's probably you can walk like six people next to each other, sort of width wise. Oh, okay. So this isn't a kind of wall that just people sit on. No, know, no, like no, no. It's side. like okay, a, okay, okay, it's okay. a walkway with like and, a chin. And drop. is there anything preventing you from dropping off the, the cliff? No. The ish, the whatever. No. Okay, so straight. Yeah. Into okay, the sea okay, and okay. 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 All right. Water as well. So there's. To the right of you, or to the left of you, or whatever, uh, is a, just a drop. Yeah. With no barrier. So what's on no the barrier. other yeah, side of it? Yeah, you're too good. You're too much of a good at two shoes. Yeah, this didn't happen. <laughs> but what's on the other yeah. side of this wall? So I've got a railway on my right, and then I've got a sheer Monsters? drop and water on my left. Probably sharks about, coming to think about of it on, now. <laughs> what about on top of the wall, though? Nothing. It's just a walkway. It's just a yeah, flat but, walkway. Like, yeah, but there's, there's that, and then there must be the, the actual wall that stops the sea. No, you're walking on top of the wall that stops the sea. So what? The, the, the water's onto the railway, is it? And why weren't you on the road? No, this is on the lower bit. So it's not as high as the railway. This is on the lower bit. Why aren't not? Because I was trying to get road? home quicker. Because I thought it'd be quicker. And I was when, when, okay. So this is the very out. first time you've attempted this. This was the first Wait. and only time I did this. Yes. But but when <laughs> you started out, was it that deep straight away? I think it was, and I just thought it'd be fine. It was it was hmm. deep enough, but I thought ah, be alright. And then the wall gets a bit lower and then a bit higher, so it was a bit like oh, this is touching. It was horrible. Yeah, this isn't that. What time this of year is, was that, this? I, oh, it would have been summertime. It would have. It would have been I if it was true. I was wearing shorts and I wasn't freezing. It was night though. It I was, know. but I was working in a pub, so. 
Oh, this didn't happen. You're, you're I'm like, uh, the more, yeah, this doesn't happen. I'm sorry. I'm we're, I think we're ready this, for a This verdict. is falling apart at the end. I think. How I think that so. I was, I was on, I was on board with this story up until the end. So uh-huh. you just wait. So you just were like straight up, like I'm just gonna start. It wasn't like it just caught you out and it started getting deeper, but you were too far along the thing. You're like, oh fuck it, let's keep going. You were just like, know, nope, I'm gonna yeah. go swimming. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. I thought it'd be fine. All right, Tom, come on. It's, it's time for a verdict. False. I don't. False. I don't believe this. I, no, I was. I was. Story. I was on board with this yeah. up until the end, and then I was like, <laughs> mm, maybe not though. That this this sounds like it's not. It, if it had been like one where you'd get caught out with it, and it started uh-huh. getting deeper, the the, the tide was coming in very quickly. You'd be like, yeah, fair, like fair, but. Uh-huh. Yeah. You ready? Although, although her reaction tells yeah, me ready. that we have made a colossal mistake here, and this was <laughs> definitely true. No, no, I'm, I'm sticking, I'm sticking to it. It was definitely true. <laughs> <laughs> this is such oh, a Chloe thing Chloe. to do. How did you not Chloe. get that? <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, Chloe. At night time, this is so you're bad. on a wall this that is, is maybe so six bad. feet wide. Yeah. And the waves were crashing so hard yeah. that you were like, whatever. <laughs> and, but what was to the left? Like, what was on... It was, so if you Google Dornish SeaWorld, you'll kind of see what I mean. It's all changed a little bit now because it's all got washed away at some point. How, how do you, how do you how spell, do you spell Dornish? Dornish. D-A-W-L-I-S-H. <laughs> Dornish SeaWorld. And you're, in the newer one's slightly different, but the older one, yeah, it, I... When I remembered that I oh, did it, Chloe. I was so embarrassed. Oh my god, Chloe. This is so it? bad. This yeah, is so just, bad. Isn't it just? Yeah. So if anyone wants to this Google is a, just that, a, There's just a sheer drop. Yeah. And there was like well, a lower bit. Yeah, but... There was a lower bit. I think it's changed a bit now, but there was a lower bit and the, the tide was up against it. And... It, I got about halfway or I started doing it and I was like, well, I can't turn back now. I've just got to keep going. And all I started thinking about was the fact that there is nothing next to me except for sea, rough sea as it is. And I was like, but there I'm is fucked. a wall higher than the walk. There, you, there you know is. I mean? There's a higher bit, but there was like a uh, step down see, bit. I didn't, I didn't realize. I thought it was like a completely flat. Boom. Straight down. There isn't. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So right. Ooh, that was a big how am I still alive? Someone's no Pepsi for sale in the notes and said, I honestly, I, I, I don't know. So that's why she <laughs> really died. I right. genuinely. <laughs> yeah. I genuinely. And no one would have known. I didn't tell anyone where I was. I didn't tell anyone I'd done it. Cause oh, I was Chloe. so embarrassed. Oh, Chloe. This so is so bad. This is so bad. And I, 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 this yeah. might actually be one of the worst stories you've told on this podcast. <laughs> this is so bad, isn't it? Just such a bad like decision. I don't think it's that bad, knowing that there was that wall right there, and this is an actual pedestrian walkway. It as well. is, but I, I see. Oh, I didn't man. think it was a pedestrian no, walkway. So I just thought bad. you were trying to take a shortcut. So okay, now that I've seen a picture of it, uh, it's yes, it's not that bad. But oh, you know, like, hey, you wanted to shave twenty minutes off your walk or your your. But I wouldn't home, recommend you know I mean? anyone doing it. It was yeah, it was horrifying. Uh, I honestly yeah. regret doing it. I mean, I've done it now, so awesome. it's all right. I've survived, but it just you did it. it. Could have <laughs> yeah, for 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 whatever that means. Yay, yeah. well done. Like you, you once you have kids and that, and you start thinking like. God, what if Logan does that when he's older? I would be absolutely fuming with him, you know? And I'm just like, why did I do it? Oh, my God, yeah. When you suddenly think of, like, well, you could do it, and it's like, oh, this just makes me feel sick. Why did I do that? Anyway, there you go. That was a story. <laughs> well, that was a whole thing. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the, the more you, everyone, learned, <laughs> everyone learns so much about us. Over the years, <laughs> all right, fair enough. No, yeah. well done. Are we doing another round, by the way, or not? We're just doing the. Oh, we still got David Scott. Yeah, we'll do another one. round. We'll just keep going. Yeah. 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 <coughs> once I drove down. God damn it! Why'd you pick this one? Um, once I drove down the wrong way on a freeway. Um. Wow. Wow. How? 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 How is How? the one that in I want to know? In a lorry? Oh, in a car? What? Uh, I was in a car. Um, I 
I was still getting mixed up with the side of the road to drive on. Okay, so this is quite fresh moving there. No, fresh meaning as in like I was you, yeah, fresh living there, in, is yeah. that what you said? Yeah, fresh living in yeah, America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, basically, yeah. So w- did you not stop at some point before you got onto the freeway and go, oh, this is a mistake? Or you just went, ah, anyway. Oh, I, uh, I made it onto the freeway. Uh-huh. I saw that there was, there was nobody coming towards me, but I did see that the traffic on the other side of the freeway was going the same direction as me. <laughs> so then I pulled over onto the, uh, onto the shoulder and I pulled a U-turn and <gasps> I just kept going and hopefully, and then I took the next exit and um, got myself turned around and uh, I, I can't remember exactly. I don't remember if I was going home. Uh, I just remember it was nighttime. Yeah. Oh, so it was quiet. I think it, yeah. Yeah, it was quiet. And you could yeah. see lights coming towards you, so it wasn't like... I couldn't see lights coming towards me. I could see that the traffic that was on the other side of the freeway yeah. was going the same direction as me. And um, it wasn't the only time as well. Like this, The, the amount of times that I have ner- n- nearly... Was it, it, I couldn't even tell you how many times, but there was definitely the one time, and uh, yeah, I, I saw a sign that said wrong way, but that was <laughs> referred to the, um, and I thought that was for the other side because that has that's happened many times. I'm like, God damn, why can't they put these signs better? Because like the amount of times that I've, you know, I've, I'm taking the on ramp, but I saw the, but I can read wrong way, <laughs> you know. But this time I just, yeah, so I I fucked up. Wow. <laughs> But okay. you're on your own then. You're on your own. I was on my own. Yeah. Right. And so, where were you coming back from? Where Where were you going from? You're going home, did you say? I don't know. I honestly, <laughs> I don't remember. I really don't remember. Again, this is like this is like 22 years ago. Uh, all I, yeah, and uh, I'm in my car again. It was nighttime, so I'm okay. What I'm guessing, uh, I was a bouncer at a, at, a, at a pub, so I'm guessing it was because that's where the area was, and it was nighttime. So I'm guessing it was that because, like, you know, it's like two thirty, three o'clock in the morning. And, and you casually uh, just pulled a UE and just went, "Ah, be right." Casually? No, it wasn't <laughs> casual. It was. Just, it, it scared the living shit out of me. I'm like just making sure I'm, I'm going around, you know. Uh, yeah. But you still managed to do it again. But, when one time do it again? Shit. Yeah, you said you, you, you nearly said did that it. You did times. it again. Oh. I didn't do it again. I just there's been many times on multiple different freeways all over the town, whatever you know. And uh, yeah, again, I, it was. Uh, I think I was going home. You know, I can't. I can't remember. I, I was still was, like, was it, it was only a few days after this... getting the job. This is in America. This is in the town that I'm no, living like currently in right now. As in, like one of the big highways, yeah, a proper freeway, I five. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, interstate terrifying. Interstate I five that runs that runs north and south uh, into California and Washington. And goes through Oregon as well. Again, yeah, I was like, this is like number d- day two. I, I knew the area. Uh, so I kind of knew the area. Which side of the road you were meant to be on? Yeah, I was just, uh, yeah, no, but basically, yeah. But did you not have to drive? That's not the only time. I have driven down. I, I have many, many times in Ireland and in and America driven on the wrong side of the road, and then I saw traffic coming towards me, <laughs> and I flipped out, and I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Wow. One time I had my wife in the car too, and uh, she, we didn't think any of it when we when I when I left. And but yeah, I, I, the amount of times I've nearly hit people because I keep forgetting what side of the road to be on when I first started. It, it was it was my biggest nightmare. It really was. And even going down, every time I go down, ever since then, going uh, on an on ramp, I'm freaking out. You know, <laughs> I was like just for that mic, I get I get a little bit of a. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, driving into a parking lot or driving into a customer or whatever or in you know, like a I will gas say, station. I've done this when I was in America and I remember being on the wrong side of the road and being like shit and like immediately going to the side of the road that you're familiar with being on. Mm-hmm. But I'm just trying to think of like entrance ramps. It There's two types of entrance ramps. All right. You can either merge to the left or to the right. All right. Um with meaning as in like a lot of times it'll loop around if you're, if you're making a right hand turn it'll kind of like keep turning around and eventually you'll get there right oh, or so it looks like you're going path. the right way but then it loops back on itself sort of thing yeah uh that's not not the case for me my case was it was just a normal fucking on-ramp <laughs> and i just kept going you know it was just 
So what was it know. like? A, is it like a straight road and there's just like there's yeah, a, it was a, entrance on it was a simple side. right hand turn. It was a simple right hand turn. Uh, the actual the on ramp, well the off ramp to the to that road was this, used the same concrete. If you, I can't, you know what I mean. It's like uh, so you wouldn't be like if you were if you were on the freeway already and you were um, and you were coming off. Like I'm trying to fucking word it and picture it right, but it was. The on ramp and the and the off ramp uh-huh. from the road were this, were right next to each other. Is the thing? Does that make sense? What do you that reckon? happens a lot on on this so way, what, you know, what are you thinking? I think it's believable, but I'm confused I now because you said I, that it's a right hand turn, and I'm thinking, well, no, I'm just you would have had to go. Remember, over a I bridge. live on the other. I live on the other side of the. Road. I, uh, you know, you don't live on the other side of the road. You know, yeah. You know, I live in the other country that live that drives on the other side of the road. Yeah, but you said you'd have to take a right turn to get on the freeway, and then I'm thinking, well, yeah. you would have had to go over a bridge, so you'd have had to go over the freeway, so you would have seen the lights. So you, then to turn right, I wouldn't have seen the lights. You would have been on the wrong side of the road. I, uh, I think it's believable, but I, have, I don't I, think I, you got honestly, as far I, as I've that. I flipped about five times during this. I've been like, <laughs> believable or it's not believable. It's believable. I, it's not believable. I think your stories that you've nearly done it are true, but I think doing it and doing a full UE, I don't think you got that far. I think it's a lie. Okay. I'm 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 locked Tom? in. I'm committed. <laughs> Tom doesn't know. I don't know because it does sound ridiculous. But then it's David, <laughs> <laughs> and that doesn't necessarily exclude the fact that it's ridiculous. Come, cool. I'm going to go with true on this. I think there's a chance that this might have actually happened. It is a I chance. think that well, there's a chance that it might have happened. You know what I mean? But uh, uh, like, there's definitely there's always a chance something could happen. Oh, he sounds like he's so stalling like, now. He sounds like he's trying yeah, to change yeah, yeah, your mind yeah. to get a point. I, I, well, you've already you've go. already given your answer. Given I'm, it, but... I'm going true. I'm going true. That's false, what I'm going false. with. Okay, go. Uh, well done, Chloe. <gasps> Was it a lie? You caught you caught me when you said uh, like, but he made a right hand turn, <gasps> and oh shit, she's right. Fuck, how do I backtrack? <laughs> oh fuck, well, I meant you. I meant. <laughs> Despite the score, uh, Chloe's actually fucking shit hot at this game. Chloe's like <laughs> shit hot at this game. Oh, yes. I was trying to think logically and I was thinking, yeah, you, if to do right, you would have had to look at, like, go over the road or under it or something to look at it. Mm-hmm. So you've nearly done it, though. It that's true, surely. Oh, I've nearly done it so many yeah. times. Like, I, I honestly got, and that sign with the whole wrong way, when you have a, a an on ramp and a, and. A, and uh, off ramp right next to each other. Yeah, and like you literally, when you're merging, when you're going onto the freeway, you can literally see it saying wrong way. <laughs> you know, which right. scares me. You know, and I really, and there has been, yes, there has been many, many, many times that I actually have driven on the wrong side of the road, or even when I enter a parking lot. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I have done in... that as well. So yeah, I, I'm that part. <laughs> I believed. It was yeah, oh it God. was believable. It was just it was the right hand turn. Right hand turn. Uh, yeah, left hand turns. In America, when I was in America, making a left-hand turn is so scary. You know, where you have to like cross. You know, the right-hand turn's easy because you just have to hug the curb. You know what I mean? But left-hand turns on a major intersection, when you're hoping, because it doesn't sound, doesn't feel natural. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just doesn't feel natural. I'm used to, I'm used to hugging the curb. Yeah. You know, to the left. Yeah. Oh, it was. It's. It took me. Yeah. But that was good. I anyway. loved it. Should we do the actually... round? Or should we do the round? Should we do the round? Tell you what. Let's let's save let's save them for the next time. How about that? Okay. okay. Yeah. We have been doing let's a while, do haven't we? <laughs> we have been doing it a while. Yeah, we have been. Right. On that note, thank you so much for listening. If you haven't listened, how did you get this far? But we shall see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you so much for listening. Our podcast manager and editor is David. Thank you very much, sir. We love you very much. Our hosts are Chloe, David, and myself. My name's Tom. Our producer is Nessa. And if you'd like to support us like our beautiful, beautiful mega supporters, you can go to Patreon. And well, I'm going to read a list out of them. But before I read this list out, I'm just going to go on a bit of a tangent. Because our oh, mega no. supporters have started this whole new thing. And I, I, I want to say that I love you all. Because you give us money and we really appreciate it. But, and this comes from the bottom of my heart, 
fuck the lot of you for these names that you're now about to make me read. Because some you know, of that's these, my fault. <laughs> I, I, I don't care whose fault this is, but I've started reading some of these. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck it. Ah, oh, so bad. Right. Let's just read this list because fuck it. Why not? We've got Arthur Job. We've got <laughs> fucking Bill Buttlicker. Oh my god. Hate you all. Dildo. Ginger Mother Trucker. Thank you for keeping it normal. Ivor Big Cockins. <laughs> Jack Goodwin. <laughs> John Brown. Justin Reedy. Me Hall. Phil Starkey. S. My D. Skip Dude. Stephen Patterson. Trucker Stout. Trucker Colin. Thank you to all them people who haven't changed their names and just get me to read a normal <laughs> name. That's really appreciated. And you can all support us at uh, uh, different tiers. We have got other ones. We've also got Big Mike, Gavin Williams, Neil Reeves, Trucker Joe, Danny Flynn, The Wanker, and Ian Croucher as well. Thank you. Thank you all, guys. Um, uh, definitely maybe not the people who've now changed their names. Um, God. So half of you guys didn't change your name, but you know everyone else is going to have to come up with something pretty cool for next Please week. Please don't do it. Good for, for, yeah, for you the know love you're of Christ. Because he, he Christ, has to read them out. <laughs> God, so, so basically, Tom, the more, the more of a big deal you make about this, the yeah. more likely they're going to actually change your name. So I'd be very surprised to find out if anybody who hasn't changed their name. So uh, yeah. Um, if you want to change your name, um, we're not going to tell you how to do it because uh, bollocks you all. Uh, <laughs> so these guys get great perks such as extra extra content they get access to the Discord, Discord. and nude pics from Tom uh, they do not get that that's not something that they get just a heads up well, we spoke about that earlier we did not speak about that That's that was some separate project that was not this project anyways oh, if you'd like to support us in other ways go to summonslap.com to get some amazing amazing merch and you can follow us on social media like YouTube Instagram uh, just search Just Another Trucking Podcast or go to patreon.com forward slash J-A-T-P. J-A-T-P. That's the one there, yeah. Um, and thank you. And we'll, we shall see the, the you next time. The eye roll from Chloe. Hmm? The eye I rolling from Chloe. I did not. I nailed I that. that. This Listen, this read, I've nailed. Yeah? Well done. No, thank I, you. I actually I, made I it above my that. head. It says in the corner, J-A-T-P. I thought that would help you, but... Onlyfans.com, JATP. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah or go to onlyfans.com <laughs> dot, dot, forward slash JATP. Um, God, this, this, this read has gone on far too long, right? Bye bye. Next time, bye bye. <laughs>